Yo, what up? Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, which means another episode of Friday Night Flights. We're going to jump in and play some VTOL VR. It seems like last week, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, actually 100% gentlemen, according to YouTube analytics, uh, it seems like last week there was a request for PvP. So that's what we're going to jump into today. We are going to run a mission that's got some PvP in it, and our goal is just going to be, I think it's like total map domination if uh you want me to be honest i think that's what the mission is that i have uh set up so that's what we're gonna end up playing sorry if that got weird my whole computer screen just turned completely dark i was like oh no did i crash that would be my luck i would crash right away but before we jump into veto vr we're gonna give everybody just a couple minutes a couple minutes to show up not a bunch of minutes not a bunch of minutes, but a couple of minutes to show up. I know there's a lot of people that are super interested. If you're new here, hey, welcome. If you're returning, War Chaser, I see you, homie. Welcome back. I'm glad you guys felt the need to come back if you're returning. One thing before we get started, and then we're going to fire up this lobby. Two things. I lie. I always lie. It's always one more thing. First thing, lobby name. It's open, right? You can join. It's Friday Night Flights 0351. It's not open yet. It'll be open in a second when I open it, but it is an open lobby in the sense that if you want to join, all you have to do is join. Come play. It'll be fun. All right. So it's open to everybody. Uh, Friday Night Flights 0351. If you want to be on the stream, if you want to be a part of the show, if you want me to mess with you, then you're the guy. Just be ready for the armband fashion show. The arm patch fashion show is a guaranteed thing that's going to happen as soon as we jump into the briefing room. So second thing and then we'll get going okay this is a really quick two minutes for the record second thing we hit 200 not only did we hit 200 we absolutely crushed 200 last week one week ago today the goal was 200 subscribers and ever since then things have gotten out of hand. They've gotten crazy. We had 181 last week and we're sitting at 231 subscribers today. It is absolutely crazy how that's happening. There's a couple things that are just popping off on the channel and getting a lot of traction right now. So that's super cool. Um, one of the things is Ghost of Tabor. Yo, how you doing? What up, Stan Man VG? That could be uh, construed to be a lot of fun. What up, dude? How you doing? Um, we smashed it. There's a couple things going huge on the channel. First thing, Ghost of Tabor is, is taking off. Um, so what I want to do is I actually am going to add, I think, a live stream. Um, most likely going to be Monday nights at this rate. I don't really know for sure completely yet. Most likely, though, it's going to be Monday nights. And there was a suggestion to play Into the Radius. And what I will tell you is that's probably what we're going to do. Um, we're going to continue posting Tabor videos. That's how that's related. Uh, and maybe I'll add a second day where I stream Tabor. So we'll stream VTOL Tabor and Into the Radius until Contractor Showdown comes out. But I will warn you, I'm terrified of Into the Radius. Absolutely terrified. I haven't looked up much. Right? I have the game. I got it a long time ago. I haven't looked up much, but I've looked up, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of video about this game. And it looks like a complete scare fest in VR. Um, so if you want to see a grown man cry, most likely look no further than the mirror. However, you can look at me if we stream this stuff because uh, this game looks like a lot of fun, but incredibly terrifying so that's probably what's gonna happen so with all of that being said i know you're here for friday night flights i know you don't care about me crying just yet give it time you will it's a good laugh so let's go ahead and get this lobby open and get started i'm gonna need two minutes while we jump into vr and we'll be right back with this stream and opening the lobby to everybody that wants to join and play in friday night flights
All right, we should be back. Uh, D-Man, what up, dude? How you doing? I'm glad that you caught that Discord just in time, and it's super dope that you could play for a bit. Um, Stan, man, hey, it's cool. Sorry that you can't play too. It would be sweet if you could. If you're trying to sleep, I don't know that my voice is the one you want to fall asleep to. Although, maybe in some weird way, I am soothing. I know I'm not soothing to me. Kind of large and crazy and loud and annoying uh but that's by design people loud and annoying all right so we should be able to see the screen we should be able to see what the lobby is going to be named friday night flights i'm going to check it one more time because things tend to break all right friday night flights 0351 we're going to be playing the open world combat v2 pvp takeover mission if you wanted a large mouthful of what we're going to be doing that's exactly what it is so let's get this thing going should we change it oh nighttime would be a lot of fun huh be probably pretty bad for a stream though oh no probably pretty bad for a stream ugly right so let's go ahead and host this thing we are off to our favorite part of VTOL VR, the locker room. I hate the locker room. Oh my God. I just dropped the damn helmet. I hate that when that happens. We'll put it on backwards, hat backwards. I'm gonna watch the stream, but I'm gonna hop off when I'm going to bed. What up, dude? I'm happy to have you nonetheless. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you're finding some value in the stream and hopefully you get a, a good, uh, good night's sleep and you know, sleep's important. Sleep aids in recovery, sleep aids in everything with the exception of being awake. <laughs> you can quote that and put that on a cereal box yeah weird is uh well you know weird can go either way stan it really can go either way weird can be good weird could be bad um it just really depends the other team is not ready we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start the mission um players will still be able to join late maybe i wait Eh, I don't know. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Hope everybody had a great week. How was your week? Let me know. How was your week? How was your week? My week was crazy. Not exactly in a fun way. Tons of work, unfortunately. Um, but it's Friday, so here we are. And that means Friday night flights. We're going to give the lobby just a few minutes to fill up, as it usually does. Have a good night, Stan. Sleep well. See you in the future. That's right. Coddle. Coddle him, coddle him. You got some cadets. Uh-oh. I do need to know more. I don't know if we have talked about your cadets, but share. I'm curious what kind of cadets you have and uh, what you're doing. That's always a, a interesting part of this story, man. Let me know what's up. All right, we're gonna give everybody a few minutes. It should be open. It should be public. While we do that, let's take a look at the briefing. All right, not that. It's super important, but it could be fun. So this is Full Assault PvP in Open World Combat V2. Basically, we have Team A, the good team, some attackers, and these attackers are going to fight some defenders. What up? Hi. What up, man? Arm patch. Let's see. Arm patch fashion show. If it's bad, you got to go. That's, you can stay. That's pretty Just good. Just a casual one. Hey, that works. <laughs> Thank you. A cat eye to keep you on your toes. Um, so, Team B is defenders, and uh, then our goal is to kill shit, right? So we're going to attack Team B's air bases and their cities. So if you're on TB, Team B, you're going to be rolling defense. Hi guys. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Let's see your arm patch. We got to judge Go you. We're going to judge your entire personality based on your arm patch. This is now give me the arm patch. <laughs> that looked like a good one though. Why hide it? Come back. Come back with the arm patch. You can do it. Oh, what is is that a robot with it's a gun? Like, it's from uh, No, it's it? um uh you know Apex Legends? Yes. Oh, you is that Pathfinder? It's like it's the Pathfinder from the Ah, oh, okay. Ba okay, yeah. yeah, you can win. You can stay. All right, fair enough. Arm Patch Fashion Show in full swing. <laughs> all right, so we are just trying to capture <laughs> all their stuff. Show. We have 20 lives per air base. Oh, That's good to know. And um, if you lose an air base, your spawns will move back to a new air base. Okay, cool. That's for the defenders. If Team A wins, if we capture all six air bases. So we just kind of got to wait for Team B. I don't think there's a Team B yet. So the lobby just opened. So uh, there's no Team B yet, but fly what you want. And, uh, you know, try to get some kills, yeah? Cool story. 
<laughs> all right, let's catch up. I don't think it's um, just AI. Isn't there? Isn't it AI or no? Uh, it is a PvP lobby, so players should be able to join the other side if they want. Uh, I would guess that there's AI if there are no players. So prepare to be cyber bullied uh, by, by way, VR pilots. Uh, I'm... <laughs> Uh, by the way, Lovely. it might be that I'm either gonna rage quit because I'm too bad, or uh, my internet just uh, won't fit it because I'm uh, from Europe, so the connection is might might be a little bit uh, difficult. So it'll work. Yeah, I see that. It'll work. That's not bad. Uh, you can play with a hundred hundred ping. You'll you'll be fine. You'll be okay. It'll be fine. Don't rage quit. Rage quit is fun. Well, but I hope so. This game is definitely raging. All right, quick catch up on chat, and then we'll go. You have Navy stuff. Oh, I'm going to go fly this plane. That's right. Bye -bye. That's right. She cut it off the arm. Uh, you're going to cut anyone out. It's game time. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool, man. Let's uh, let's get in here, and let's fly this bad boy. Did she leave, or did she go in game? Let's see. Hopefully, she didn't leave. Uh, she's in game. We're going to fly the 26. My best guess, as with always with these things is it doesn't matter what i fit the game will throw the opposite at me that's exactly how it usually works so we are gonna fit a ridiculous we're basically gonna become a missile truck i think that's my my game plan hey what are you taking wavy are you taking air to ground air to air what's your loadout man what's your loadout uh i thought it was just pvp in sense of air to air isn't it I don't know. I've actually never played this mission. I, I hope it's... Well, it says capture air bases, right? So there might be SAMs to blow up. My guess is it's going to be oh, heavily air-to-air -air early on. That's my best guess. Progressive assault on the island chain attacking Team B's air base and cities. Oh, I see. De uh, destroy all its defenses and storage sites. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it could really go either way, I think. I think there's a lot of air-to-air, -air, though. Oh, I... it, it has limited lives. Oh, frick. Okay. Don't worry, I'll be responsible for depleting all of our lives. I'm not, <laughs> not worried about that. I'm going to screw this <laughs> up for sure. Okay, we got... You know, an... We have, like, uh, 20 lives per airbase, so... Uh, mm. Yeah, uh, don't let him lie. He's part Navy. No, no, he's Navy for sure. He's uh, he's pretty solid at this game too, for whatever it's worth. So he's in almost cool. You'll be here in a minute. Um, with that being said, we're gonna jump in. I bet you our Cerberus. our friendly neighborhood uh, Nick down here is probably Yo. hey, probably hey, getting hey, beat up. Hey, hey. Yo, Cerberus. what up, bud? How you doing, bro? Arm patch hey. fashion show? What the fuck? What is that? What are you, the Riddler? Yep. You're letting me down. Letting me down. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad you can make it. Let's go ahead and kill shit. All right. Um, I'm going to jump in. And uh, let's see what Nick, our, our friendly Nick. Oh, my. What? What? Hydraulics? We're hitting the switches in the FA-26B to start everything out. All right. Let's see. Jet's hot. That's good to go. Oh, hold on. Game window. Game window, give me two seconds. We're back. We're gonna go team. We'll go push to talk on that. Um, I am not sure of anything right now. Catch up on chat. I'm back for another one up, Frosty dude. Welcome back. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Friday night flights 0351. That is the name of the uh lobby. So PvP today is what we're after. So come on in, man. Let's have some fun. Um, we'll actually throw nav up over here just so we can see a little bit. We'll drop these wings. We'll kill these brakes. And a launch bar is probably helpful as well. You know, getting off the carrier. It's always nice to have uh, something okay, to flame. I was not expecting my head to get ripped off from the G-forces when I spawn in. Okay. Same, same. I was bouncing up and down all crazy when we first spawned in. It was nuts. We'll hit a little takeoff stream. Might not join this one. Feeling a bit sick. Oh, dude, sorry to hear 
That is a bummer. I was not feeling well earlier this week myself. Loud and clear. So I totally get how you feel. But I, if you don't join, I'm glad you can make it. Happy to have you. I'm glad you uh, were able to at least do that. I don't know where... Is this... Is this Nick? Is that who that was? Nick with the hide my arm arm patch. How rude like. Um, all right, so we got a bunch of 120 C's and we have uh, four heaters. Let's so. For, um, can Ooh. someone make talk so I can see if my thing's working? My mic? Your mic's coming through loud and clear. Um, I can hear you just fine. The question is, it's mine. <laughs> all right, thank you. I couldn't hear you guys, so I was trying to fix something. Thank you, though. All the cool kids use sign language, that's why. So, you can't hear us because we're using sign language. Hope you get better soon. Uh, yeah. No, War Chaser, you're guys. sick too. I know that for sure. Uh, yeah, man. Frosty, get better for sure, for sure. Alright, let's check out... Uh, my headset is not comfortable today, people. Let's check out what our objectives are while we gain some altitude. Um, capture gold. That's it. Sweet. So, 33 nautical miles that way. And uh, I, X-ray 1-4 might be that F-45, might be the hide my arm patch individual. Um, if that's the case, then uh, we got to get over there and probably offer them help. Nothing against the F-45 pilots, okay? I think they're, I think the F-45 is a great plane, but it's also uh, typically the plane you start out flying because the little, little touchpad dash is nice. It's less to manage than this cluttered craziness, so... I actually had a really cool like PvP um, like training session with Alt over the weekend that was awesome. We ran uh, a couple PvP drills, it was super cool, I got some good footage and it's going to help me throw together like a super awesome missile evasion course uh, as well as like how to take care of your RWR and some of the other stuff that's going on on your screen. Um, so huge shout out to him, hopefully he's able to show up at some point today, I genuinely enjoy playing with him um i see splash over there x-ray looks to be alive still so that's a good sign you alone x-ray uh but you got help coming we're on our way we're just about 20 nautical miles or more away from you x-ray's freaking out but they did get that kill there's another splash hopefully it's them no wings Hey brother, only birds need wings, okay? So if you're not a bird, you don't need wings, it'll be fine. Just fly the jet. You're, you got this. <laughs> only birds need wings. Yeah, man. Go to the tutorials um, for sure. I will also, I really want to fly the, uh, the, the T-55 with you as well. Like, I really want to jump in. I want to really jump in with you and do some, uh, like, two-person like live like flight school kind of kind of stuff i think they'd be a lot of fun so i really want to throw you uh in the t-55 pineapples need wings too maybe maybe red bull gives you wings maybe that's the answer x-ray uh if you know you're dead you're probably not even in the lobby anymore but if you are and you can hear this make sure you drink a red, a red bull red bull gives you wings there we go i see nothing i knew this was gonna happen i knew this was gonna happen that i was gonna come in here with an air-to-air -air loadout. I called this. I called this. Um, get Frosty to backpedal and fly back to you. Yeah, maybe so. Uh, we have, there's no enemy air. So here I am in an air-to-air -air loadout with nothing but ground target. I knew this was gonna happen. I called this 100%. I've not seen a pineapple with wings. What am I missing, bro? No, where are you shooting at me from? I see you. We'll just pull you down into the ocean, hopefully. All the cool kids dodge missiles on the weekends. It lost its track. So I'm kind of just gonna, I think, orbit in the area. Like, I don't have an air to ground loadout, but if anybody from an enemy team does pop in, I'll, I saw, here we go. We have air over here. I'm pretty certain that's F.A. on the RWR, which, oh, shit, too much pitch, 
Baby, come back. <laughs> I don't think having your wings went well. Well, it sounds like you're alive, uh, even if it's a respawn, so good thing is it's a video game. You'll live. <laughs> I crashed into a mountain. How was that good? Well, did you hurt the mountain? That's the real question. What is that over there? Is that a missile? Or is that a jet? I saw one thing. Here we go. One thing on oh, RWR. No. I'm not seeing enemy air at all. Enemy air. There's missiles flying all over the place. See? Uh, I should have equipped air to ground. I called it this game and its shenanigans. I guess I got time to, to BS with y'all though. Barbecue beef super noodles. They are great, great. Barbecue beef super noodles. Wait a minute. This sounds wonderful. You had me at noodles and super as well as you know all the other fun stuff the barbecue and the beef what are barbecue beef super noodles where can i get these i hope we're not ta talking about like ramen noodles that you've just dumped a bunch of barbecue sauce in i think i'm gonna go land and uh grab an air to ground loadout this is not the bee's knees right now and i don't want to just circle around yo is there aircraft over there because i got nothing on radar Oh, there we go. There we go. We'll send that down for some help. There we go. They're, they're starting to load in. He's probably going to shake that. We'll shake. We'll fire two more. And we'll fire that. If he... Oh, that might hit our guy. I'm so sorry if I just hit you with that heater. Yeah, I know. I sent two Amrams out at him and then a heater and then you flew in uh, like right behind him and I was like, oh no, that's bad. Oh man, I feel bad. I feel bad for sending the heater his way. Alright, you guys can get off of me any day. Did I just hit a plane? I think I just ran into a plane. No good. We're going down, gents. I think I just hit a damn plane. Either that or I popped my own wings off. They could have been hit by a missile. I wasn't really trying to evade that missile all that well. Oh, it's in Ireland? I think it's one of the, if not the most popular in Ireland. Oh, yeah. So I wonder if we can even get any. The minute that you do that, I'm going to get air to A. Air, yeah, for sure, War Chaser. As I'm, I, look, it's going to happen, okay? I'm about to switch and grab just a little bit of of air to ground and all of a sudden it's gonna blow up and and be tons of air to air i cannot believe i just launched a heater i hit my own guy that's i feel bad um like a little bit bad <laughs> i like i don't want a team kill i genuinely uh don't don't appreciate that it was a, it was an accident though i swear um we'll take these 88s really quick we'll just take two 88s that's it and we're going to stay mostly air to air, I, I kid. We're going to take... I lie, I tell you. I tried to tell you guys. I'm just full of shit all the time. Um, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not lying. I don't want to replace those. Yeah, okay. I'm not lying for once. All right? I'm not lying for once. We're going to take 288s uh, and, and mostly air to air. And so we can just go help with uh the effort on the ground i gotta turn off so yes the most unlikely thing. uh the, what is the most unlikely thing if you're in game and you say some very vague stuff i have no idea i have no idea x-ray 14 is like brevity coding it up he's like living out his top gun dream <laughs> i love it good for you Call sign Maverick. 
Oh, I love it. All right, let's get back in the fight. We got some uh, AGM-88s with us, so we should be able to actually help out a little bit with this uh, these ground threats and give us something to do while we... Um... I still didn't put flaps down. That's okay. Flaps are overrated. And we can help out with uh, the fight on the ground as it takes place. We'll take those out there, and I guess we will change to this for our 88s. Let's get back over to help out. Let's see. If you like spicy chicken, soul food, southern chicken. Is Popeye's good? Uh, Popeye's is uh, it's iffy, man. It's still like fast food chicken. I think you're going to get the best like uh, southern chicken. You know, if you were to somehow make a trip and get down south. Um, spice tolerance of a sponge. <laughs> I'll give you a funny story. Uh, she'll probably kill me if she ever hears this, but my wife is, um, is Indian and you would think that that means that she can have an incredible amount of spice. Look who's here right now too. Nonetheless, who shows up at story time and, um, yeah, it's, uh, she has very little spice tolerance and she's supposed to have a ton of spice tolerance. So I bet you that your country has more spice tolerance than uh, Mrs. Cerberus at this point. <laughs> yeah, no spice tolerance. We actually went out on our first date ever and got discriminated against um, <laughs> by some racist waitress because uh, they thought she could handle all the spice and everything nice. And it uh, turns out I'm the one that can eat just an ungodly amount of spicy food. So it was quite funny. Okay, we have, we're going to gain some altitude. Uh, that site's a little far out for us. We might be able to hit it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We No, I'm fucking up my screens here. All right, we can try to hit this with the AGM. I don't think that we're in range enough. Dang, they're too spicy. We can't have Takis? Takis? Oh, come on, bro. What's up, Sweet Pea? That's what is up. I'm, didn't, I'm surprised you joined. I didn't know you were going to come say hi. That was a, a pleasant surprise. See, gents, always say the right thing. Always say the right thing. Even if deep down you know you're going to be in trouble, just say the right thing. All right, we are firing some harms out there, and we're going to shift over here. We're going to fire this harm, and then we're probably going to need to pay attention to anti-air. But we can do what we can to help get harms out to take care of these radar sites, clear up our air a little bit. Let's go back to our 120s, and I bet you, I bet you the other team is not as fleshed out as it was. No, there's actually more people. Okay, excellent. More people on the other teams. That's something that we need to keep our eye out for. Let's go back here. We'll come out of burner. Um, lots of manager. Oh, too far out of burner. Oh my God. I forgot that I do that with my grip. Let's see. 16 of, whoa, 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 whoa. Frosty, you gotta be crazy. 16 or above to buy Takis? Well, did they put cocaine in your Takis, bro? What? Who is shooting at me and from where? All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just break lock on that. That missiles will not hit us. I don't see any enemy aircraft again. Um, I think, I think I, can, I gotta keep checking the game menu because it just seems like there's nobody here. However, Magic Mars tends to give some deaths here. Okay, back to focusing. That sight's shooting at me. Let's go ahead and we'll just break that lock as we circle around. Where are the enemy jets? Anybody see enemy air or are they just sitting in the briefing room? Let's see, let's see. We'll call... Not now, and not now. Uh, I killed like three of them. They're all just sitting inside for a little base thing. Like in-game or respawning? I need to know where they are. I in need to game, know. Like the little things that you started. Yep, okay. He means the briefing room. <laughs> it's okay, we'll let him have it. I said no. 
Okay, all right, all right. Careful, she's spicy. She'll beat you up. That's the thing to watch out for. That be a missile. Um, we're gonna go ahead and come down here. We're gonna drop some altitude. I don't think we hit any of those uh, those radar dishes. Let's see if that's enemy or not. I don't think it is. I don't have anything to protect myself or destroy against ground targets right now. But I don't know why I can't pick any of these guys up on radar. So we're just going to have to get close enough to get visual on them. That's friendly. Oh my god. Way to fly into a building. That was epic. I got down here just in time. I don't know who that was, but that was great. We're just going to do circles, man. I... I have no more air to ground stuff. I can, like, strafe shit. That's an option. It's not a bad option. Get a couple strafing runs in. We do gotta capture this base, so it is I gonna mean. I know how I just caught a fox too straight to the face and survive. Uh oh. Missiles to the face. Where are. Where is everybody? I see nobody. Alright, let's go ahead and strafe this and just try to knock this out. We're probably gonna get shot at by that over there. That's one. And we will just take a turn and we'll try to take this. Come on, today. And super missed. And there we go. Alright, Nelson Air Force Base is captured. Hey, that first base is captured. Jens, good job. Please stop. Let me enjoy this. <laughs> when people in real life meet on the internet, the weirdness exists. This is true. Alright, D-Man left. Did he drop internet again? Wasn't Didn't he say that he might have internet issues? He also has uh, cadets, so I'm really curious to hear about his cadets. Alright, we have a new objective. It's way over here. 34 nautical miles. Hopefully there's some damn enemies along the way. I sure would like to shoot down jets. Um, I don't know if we can land and rearm and refuel at that base now. Usually that's the case. I would much rather be able to do that. Um, I don't know where the entire enemy team is. But there's like enough people in here that we should be seeing stuff. And we're not seeing anything. Wavy is doing work. Dane, Wavy, 10 kills? You're doing work, bud. That's crazy. Yeah, 10 kills. Some, uh well it definitely worked all right we finally have air contacts so we're gonna go ahead and launch some aim 120s at them we're actually gonna fire a bunch at them and and so this was a pro tip that was given to me that uh, if you switch up your missile types, it makes PvP a whole lot more in your favor. We got that kill. He's going down. That's splash one. So the tip I got was to switch missile types, right? So if you're going to fire 120s, follow up with heaters and all sorts of stuff. The Brits call it cadets. Don't know about the USA. Oh, I see, I see. That makes sense. There's a, a bunch. Is it a youth, it's a youth program? There was another guy I was playing VTOL with from the Discord that's actually in, like, the U.S. Navy. Um, he flies drones. He was a lot of fun. I don't think it was D-Man. I think his name was Rock, if I remember right. Um, his D-Man is, uh, hmm, I wonder what Navy that is. If you, Frosty, bro, if, if Cajun isn't your thing, like, Popeye's is gonna break your heart. Like, Popeye's is fast food Cajun. Alright, let's go ahead and sling some missiles at these guys. We're gonna pick up our speed. We're just gonna dump as many as we can at this guy. And we'll switch them up. Again, that pro tip. And we'll just make him do something about the damage that we're flying his way and we'll do all we can if he defends all of these that there we go splash that as i say that would have been super impressive if all of those were defended against i just made it rain 
steel rain at these guys. What does Pitbull mean? Pitbull means that the missile I shot has switched to its internal radar. So AIM 120s are radar guided missiles. Let me get an RTB vector really quick and I'll tell you. Um, they're radar guided missiles. So what that means is there's actually, we can't, we might not be able to see them on the jet right now, but there's a big old camera on the tip of the warhead and it has its own radar in there. So what you do is in the aircraft, you designate the target with your radar. That's what all the, the moving this is and like clicking around to lock them up. And then when the missile gets within a certain range of them or has a certain active flight time, I forget which, the internal radar kicks on and you can leave. Like you don't have to keep the enemy locked on your own aircraft. Um, so when you first fire it, you do. When you first fire it, the missile is relying on you, the pilot, to keep the, the enemy locked so that the missile knows where to go. And then once it hits... I didn't hear him. But once it hits Pitbull, it means that the missile's internal radar has taken over and you don't have to support the missile with your aircraft anymore so you can break lock you can go defensive you can save yourself and the missile will now track internally it also to the player gives them a bunch of different warnings that come in their missile warning system so like they might not know when you shot the missile depending on how if you soft lock or hard lock them from inside the aircraft but they 100 percent know when that missile goes pitbull or completely active and self-sustainable on its own they know that for sure Typically, though, if they haven't figured it out by the time it goes pitbull, the 120 has a really good, um, a really good like hit rate. So, yeah, that's what pitbull means. So it means you can get out of dodge. You don't have to keep supporting that missile. It's a good and a bad thing with the 120s, right? So they have crazy long range. Oh, sweet, we can land here. They have crazy long range, which is helpful. Um, they can also distinguish, uh, or they're easier to distinguish between friend and foe after you fire them because you support them with a radar lock um, rather than the heat seekers taking on the, the first heat signature it finds. However, once the, the AIM-120 does go pitbull, it will pick up any radar signature it can find. So that could also mean a teammate. So you do have to be careful firing them into a furball of players. Um, but you get more range with them. But they do kind of tell on you when you shoot. Like the enemy gets a heads up that they're being shot at. Uh, but the heaters are a little less involved to use. So there's that. I'm going to be listening in the background, so I won't be chatting. All right, dude. It's uh, good having you to chat while you could. And um, maybe you can go start a Taki black market service. That's what I would do. If you had to be 16 to buy Takis, that is the craziest freaking rule I've ever heard. Like I'd get it if we're talking about like whiskey but takis bro takis what you doing what you doing with the takis just a reminder if you just popped into chat or you're new to the stream and you haven't been here for a minute we have blown up past 200 last week's goal was 200 subscribers and i'm super grateful that we have blown up past that the way we have but now we're on the push to three we are grinding towards 300 subs at this point and it's been a lot of fun I'm super excited for it and once we get to 250 I think is gonna be the magic number where we're gonna add a stream we're gonna add another day of streaming I have into the radius in mind that being said I am completely and utterly terrified to play into the radius um, I think it's it's gonna scare the living shit out of me if you really want my opinion some old man fainted whoa Bro, get better constitution. Like, you rolled bad constitution on your character if you're fainting. If we were all D&D &D characters, like, imagine the stats you would need to faint from Takis. Be, like, the most miserable character ever. We're coming in super high. We're going to slam this thing down on the runway and or nick a tree. So this runway is kind of hard to land on because of these trees. So I sort of wish we would have went to the carrier anyway. We're super high. We're super fast. None of this is good. Do not emulate this landing by any means. Um, it wasn't pretty. All of that was bad. We're gonna go rearm and refuel. That's why we're landing. We do have limited lives, so we actually have to land. Um, we're gonna go rearm and refuel. 
and then we're gonna get back in the sky to get wavy go we're gonna get back in the sky and get back on task so sorry for the uh, long delay in flight time here as we try to find oh my god drifting the aircraft right now as we try to find a good place to go to rearm and refuel it's probably gonna send me down to the helipad which is super funny when it happens so we'll see all right let's go ahead we're gonna stop here and we're gonna try to get some rearming and refueling um copy bring it on oh, over to a sweet. rearming station it didn't send us to the the helipad it's been crazy lately when i've been in the f26 and then like i need shit it's like hey go over to the helipad and get Ground it done crew is ready to set you up. i find it kind of rude like do i look like a helicopter have some respect you know all right negative will you disarm your weapons first no work on them while they're Bobby, hot we'll get you set up all right, they should make it so you can fly the AWACS. They do have a new spectator mode, um, and I think you're allowed to run, like, ATC from the carrier. Um, but I haven't messed with it, and honestly, I turned it off because last week I was having a bunch of people just join in spectator mode because they wanted to check it out, which is fine, but um, it'd be nice to have people to play with okay, to rather go. than be in spectator mode. Although, I did come up... I, I have an idea of... If the channel gets big, er, like much bigger, um, and we have more than enough people that want to join Friday Night Flights, like if the lobbies get bigger than like what we can support, what I might do is like do like PvP tournaments in some way and use spectator mode to kind of like commentate the tournaments. I think I, I have to go in and like check the spectator mode out to even figure out if that's a viable thing to do we don't want to lift those yet that's crazy talk um but if if it's something that would work well for content then i might uh come up with some like hosted pvp tournaments using the spectator mode that's kind of like my long-term goal with it if we get so many people that we uh don't want to take up a seat of our own which is possible all right let's get back in the air let's get back in the fight we got two more harms so we can fire those our AGM 88s there, the kind of, yeah, kind of like e games to some degree, um, but that's only if the spectator mode like pans out well. See, the thing is, is I know there's a couple like really hot shot pilots in this game, and by a couple, I mean probably well over a hundred. Um, but there's a couple of them that I've been lucky enough to like fly with and talk to, and uh, I think they might be able to put together like they they hang out in like virtual fighter wings and stuff. So they might be able to put together like a team or so that's willing to like try hard and put on a good show while I just uh, do what I do best and that's be entertaining. Um, I'm definitely more entertaining than I am good at the game. So uh, that's the taxiway. Yeah, I know. We were just getting down to the, the, the runway, bro. I just doing it in a hurry. Nobody's got time. To, to taxi at five nautical miles or whatever it is, right? We got shit to do here. We got things to kill. So we're going to speed up our taxi process. We'll turn that APU off. Save fuel, turns out. You do save some fuel. And let's pull up our waypoint. Are we really? We've got two already? Well, three's almost captured. All right. Let's get back over there. We'll do what we can to uh, help. And we try to take out any um, radar signatures that, that we might need to. That's a friendly there. I wish the uh, little circle around jets showed up sooner. I just need a little bit more lead time on whether or not it's friendly. Um, let's see who this is. They're in a helo. All right. D-Man in the helicopter getting it done. All right. It's a long fright flight in a helo, brother. All right, new objective. I think they got that last one. They're over there getting it done. I See, they should have to talk and do this. That's the kicker. You should have to entertain and play. A lot changes. <laughs> A lot changes, goddammit. Sheesh, that's not true. That's what? What are you talking about, woman? Oh, that it takes too long? Is that, is that what? what the response was i'm so confused i'm so confused all right let's get over here or the talking and playing at the same time right or the being entertaining part because 
we all know that I'm the funniest person you know in real life. That is very, very true. All right, we are doing mediocre. Let's take a look. Uh, not bottom of the barrel, but we aren't Wavy. But Wavy admittedly said that he's going after ground targets, okay? So, and he's died twice. And we have limited lives, goddammit. So, Wavy is actually more detrimental to the team than I am. <laughs> That's okay. He's got, he or she, I forget, has a ton of kills right now. Those ground targets really do rack up your kills when you're sitting here. But there is no Team B, so I'm really great and happy that we're carrying a bunch of aim 120s again there's not going to be any anti-air what i might do i can't i don't want to tell them maybe maybe i could convince d-man to do it too i might hop onto the other side and do what i can to just like shoot them down and mess with them because all i have is anti-air right now so that might be might be the play um because if not, I'm just going to have to go in and strafe stuff because I, I just don't have the equipment that I, I should have in order to get these kills. That's also why these islands are being liberated so quickly. Usually we get a bunch of players in lobby. I don't know what's going on. Katsat loves to hear his own voice. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Come on, tell us. Tell us what? Tell us what? You can't air out my dirty laundry. That's got to be a rule here. My dirty laundry, you don't do it at home. You don't get to do it on stream. That's the rule. <laughs> um, let's see what we have down here. We're going to have to go in with guns. I don't like it. But I have nothing. I have nothing. I have an air-to-air -air loadout. And I don't have bombs. And I just have anti-radiation stuff. I'm, I'm clicking too much. Here we go. Let's take these guys out. Welcome. Spreading freedom. Missing every shot. We gotta go. Oh my god. Somehow we got lucky. Missing every shot as we spread freedom. We spread freedom around the everything but the target. Everything. We planted freedom trees all over the place. None of them were killing the enemy. I can't believe this lobby is so empty. Usually, these things have been super packed. Maybe the PvP turned the community off. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Oh my god, my neck. Need a better neck, bro. Alright, let's fly. Somebody's in a T-55. What a play. It's probably D-Man. He was just in a helo. He's probably out there in a T-55 being crazy. I don't know that I would take that jet. It's great for training. Good training jet. Horribly underpowered and not that fun to play. Um, for other stuff, though. Pew, 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 pew. Freedom spreading for the win. Splish, splash. Okay, that's like not even challenging, right? Like, shoot at me. I need a kid or somebody to come in here and just start throwing shit at my head and make me actually have to dodge it in real life. I don't want to say that too loud. If they do hear me, they will be inclined to do so. And if I get hit with something randomly right now, I'm going to be really pissed. Like, really pissed. It would be high entertainment value. Um, very good punishment value. <laughs> that's, that's what it would be. Okay, uh, we have one person on Team B. Excellent. I might switch teams, in all honesty. I might jump over, just because I know I can shoot at these guys. The problem is, D-Man's going to stream snipe me. Those tracers are way weird. Yeah, they, they felt like a little off. Um, I know you can make a call. You shouldn't make a call. If somebody throws something at me, I'm going to fucking lose it, bro. Yeah. Planting freedom trees sounds wrong. Well... <laughs> you can plant other trees. Freedom trees for the win, though. I heard the more freedom trees you plant, the more kittens get to live. Right? For every freedom tree that's planted, a kitten gets its wings. I think that's the saying. Or Red Bull gives you wings or something. Something along those lines. God, there's like nothing to shoot at. I feel like this is a friendly sight, too. Like, that's the thing. Is like, if I shoot a harm at this... I'm probably killing our own shit. All right, let's RTB. And I think I should just scrap this life. 
Expensive Sword VR. What up, dude? Won me over? Thank you. You're mine forever now. I, I will take your hand and we will skip through all of the sprinklers that we can find. Happy to have you, man. Glad you stopped by. Hope you're enjoying yourself. It's always good to see new faces, new names. Gets me excited. It makes me tickle. My tummy feels good now. Okay, RTB. I should just like... Oh, it's fucking under me. I should just kill this life. Hop to the other team. What are the games you play often? Right now on the channel, you can find Ghost of Tabor. I've been playing a lot of Tabor. I am beyond stoked, though, for um, Contractor Showdown, which is later this month. I think April 25th comes out on the Oculus Store. Hopefully, the Steam release is that day, too. I do not want to buy this game twice just to play it to make content. Um, so, Contractor Showdown will be soon. And as soon as the channel gets up to... Um, gets up to about 250 subs i'm gonna add another streaming day and the suggestion has been into the radius i've i have the game and i've never played it and i just started watching some videos on it but i don't want to watch any more because i don't want to spoil it um and it looks terror switch cover go down it looks terrifying like i'm 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 genuinely scared <laughs> to play this game it looks super terrifying so i think i'm gonna do it on stream because like why not if I'm going to look like a complete jackass, I should do it in front of other people. At least that's what Santa told me once. So I kind of live and die by those words. Um, there was one year, Santa was like, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, friends. And he said, be a jackass in front of people and you'll get friends. Turns out he's magical and he's a liar. Um, so he plays many, but there's a bunch of players, doesn't it? Yeah, that's true. I do play other stuff. Uh, I play DCS. Um, I might start putting DCS videos back up here i do play dcs i fly the f16 f18 in dcs um i'm not against bms bms is a great game and i play a little il2 i like to fly the p51 and the bf109 and il2 i play a little star citizen so those are like the non-channel related games play a little star citizen and um the occasional like rpg like guild wars and um admittedly roots runescape every now and then some eve online but i don't i don't find myself playing them nearly as much uh just because they're not vr i find most of my gameplay lately has been vr i've got into the radius played it for a bit feels complicated like over complicated yeah tabor is a great a great level of complicated if if you want my opinion on that i haven't played into the radius though so now i'm now i'm curious i'm curious to compare them i'm gonna be subliminally comparing them into the radius just looks like it's got a lot of like jump scary events to it um i played tarkov for a good minute so tabor doesn't scare me like it like it used to right like in tarkov or if you're like new to like tabor and stuff like that like those games when you see a player it's like oh shit like i'm gonna get got it's it's kind of scary and um hold on let's get we'll a rearming so station. Re station yeah we're working on it ground crew stop talking back do what you told um but like that wears off like once you get used to the pvp and you get over the gear fear all that jump scary stuff it wears off and uh as a result Tabor's is just fun at this point but I, I really miss the adrenaline rush of like losing gear like if i lose gear in tabor i really don't care like you can get it back easy enough that it's not that big of a deal um but it used to be a big big deal uh always wanted to play star citizen frosty yeah for sure star citizen is what is up but like either a you need a beastie computer like a good set of gear to make it happen let's take let's take um we'll take some 38s with us just in case it's a a ground fest up there we'll reload all of these um star citizen you need a beefy computer and or there's a couple options if you have an intel cpu um because of the hyper threading that you launch the game with and it will okay, smooth out the frame rate out significantly it makes it super playable on not the world's greatest hardware so star citizen highly suggest it especially if you ever played elite dangerous uh if you've ever played elite dangerous and you liked it star citizen is a better version of that what i really hope for is that somebody somewhere somehow 
makes a VR version of Star Citizen. Like, it's just something like that where I can fly. Because we have the flight model, right? VTOL VR gives us the best flight model out there. Like, we understand how to build games that we can fly with in VR. Uh, and we have the shooting because we have games like Contractors. We have games like Tabor. We have all of those. So we have those. So that's what I want. I want to see a hybrid, but in space. That's what I really want. Don't like losing stuff. Yeah, dude, Gear Fear is... Yeah, you have a 270, so you should be okay. Yeah, probably. Probably for sure. I'm gonna let this guy go. Stinkiel in the T-55. Gear Fear is a crazy thing to get over with. Um, I didn't think it would affect me because I played a lot of EVE Online and Albion Online. I have this this suffering that I enjoy in games. I, it, it sounds silly, but I like games that punish me. And in EVE Online, if you die, you lose everything. In Albion, if you die, you lose everything. In Tarkov, if you die, you lose everything. You see the theme. And then in Tabor, well, you lose everything. But there's just something about the VR space, man. I love the fact that I, I use my hands to aim, right? Like, rather than my thumbs or a mouse and a keyboard. So, Tabor has my heart. If you haven't seen Contractor's Showdown, look it up look it up look it up look it up i don't have anything on my channel i think i have like one video from the beta it's not very good don't watch it um but contractor showdown look it up this game is gonna be sick it's a war zone in vr and it's so good you think it would be clunky like tabor is like tabor is a little clunky not gonna not gonna sit here and say it's the best design game of all time vtol vr is much smoother and more enjoyable to like control than tabor do we have brakes on why are we going so damn slow um but contractor showdown is not that contractor showdown is super smooth it's like vtol vr level smooth but shooter it's warzone a lot of fun super dope um hello it's nice to meet you so was the one you're talking about? Yeah, Contractors Showdown. That's the one. That's all CQB. Um, you're watching my videos to help yourself out. Found the stream. Yeah, dude, I appreciate that. I'm glad you found, you know, some content that's helpful. It, it's a there's a sea of it. There's a, a million pieces of content out there, brother. It's all over the place. Um, but that's good, right? Like, I think that's a good position to be in. I remember. I don't know. Like, I'm I'm old, er, so like. I just remember so much of my life without the internet and without like all this really cool information at our fingertips. I love the fact that I can find videos on everything. Like I don't watch much TV anymore. Um, the occasional show will catch my eye, but I spend way more time than I should on YouTube, both as a creator and a consumer, right? At, at this point, I spend more time creating for YouTube than I do working my full-time job. Don't tell my employer. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Older. I know, I know you were going to be offended by that. I knew it was going to happen, War Chaser. Um, but yeah, like YouTube is just, it's, it's on-demand programming for everything that I care about. And I like that. So I'm glad you're finding the content useful. Again, no other players. D-Man's gone. So I might be able to jump to the other side. We might spin up a different mission just to see how it goes. Um, we'll go continue blowing these up. But this would be a lot better with at least AI. I'm surprised there's not AI that fly around and then they can be populated. Yeah, I get that. I, I totally get that sword. Uh, it does feel like you own the stuff in the bunker. And look, I'll have you know, um, just the other day, I was so mad. So like, it's not like, so I don't have gear fear, but I have gear rage. <laughs> I was so mad. I was getting my ass kicked all night long i didn't have a single good raid and then i was on island and i went up the prison camp and i got orange key card and not only did i get orange key card i got out and i was like yeah like this is gonna be a sweet video i'm gonna go hit orange vault in the next raid like life is gonna be good like i didn't have a bag with me so i literally ran i got i got the key card before the extracts opened and i didn't have a bag so i ran around the whole island staying alive holding the key card in one hand and an ak in the other and i i took it all the way out and i was like sweet like let me grab a bag let me gear up i'm gonna go grab some of my favorite weapons a big bag armor a helmet i went into raid and got smoked almost immediately and and it was partly my fault it was mostly not 
It was mostly not. I was having crazy disconnect issues all night long. Our internet has been going in and out, like, in a way that makes me want to punch kittens and live stream it, um, which is probably not a good plan, you know, because, like, PETA and stuff, they'll come after you if you punch kittens. Um, but I was so mad. So I kept disconnecting and stuff, and I disconnected. I got back in the raid, and there was a guy in front of me, but he was a frozen statue. So I started shooting him, and all of my bullets were counting. It was taken away, all of my bullets, and none of them were registering. And he's sitting here getting peppered with bullets. And then I was like, okay, like, let me just run away. So now I'm out of ammo. This guy's standing here as a statue, and out of nowhere, I die randomly because the netcode caught up to the reconnect, and I had no ammo, and he was apparently in a completely different room. So I die randomly. It wasn't cheating. It was just bullshit disconnection issues to bore jank at the end of the day, and I lost orange key card, my favorite gun, one of my big backpacks, and some armor. I was incredibly mad I, I i stopped playing i was like i'm done like tabor i've had enough i can't take your abuse anymore it's so tabor definitely has um this abusive relationship feel to it at times i think i maybe just shot something over here at a friendly base um let's go ahead we're gonna grab these let's just flip them into dumb mode right now because it's just kind of easier for the situation we're in. We'll circle back around. We'll try to hit some of these ground targets. Um, we have these in dumb fire mode. So, what the heck? I love kittens. They're so cute. Nope, not going to happen. Not going to happen. No kittens around here. None whatsoever. Um, but, yeah. So, it was, uh, it was a bad, bad night raiding. I was, I was genuinely heartbroken so it wasn't gear fear if anything it was like gear cockiness i was like fuck yeah i got this shit and i got an orange key card and usually confidence in tabor wins gunfights but it turns out bad internet loses everything so just be careful i guess but i love it tabor is one of my favorite games out i think contractor showdown has a better model like a better feel to it like it plays better um, but it doesn't replicate the feeling like Tabor does because it's just match based, match based, whereas like Tabor is, is just different extraction shooter, right? Oh, oh my God! What did I drop a bomb on myself? What the fuck just happened? What just happened? I've done this before. I've done this before where I've dropped a bomb on myself. Is that what just happened? Tell me that I did it. I killed artillery with GBUs. Died, but no, but no. Me, G forces? Did I? What? Did I rip the wings off the jet? Come on, now. That rarely happens. No, that I think that happens when you get hit by a missile too. What the hell? I don't know what killed me. That was so random. See so if anybody knows. Instant game end. Yeah, crazy. Wow. All right. So, yeah, let's see Scorebird. Okay, there are people on the other team. That's good. So we'll stay on this team. Let's check our equipment. We're still running GBUs, AGMs. All right, let's get back in. I think I think this thing is close to done, and then we'll fire up another mission. Um, I don't know how to tell. We can tell when we are inside, I think. Team A wins six air bases. So I think we're on four. We're almost there. We are almost there. YouTube trying to silence you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe they're just too far down and I can't scroll up on this overlay. Type it again. There might be a weird small timeout on this. I'm still working out um, like the bot and stuff to help with moderation and, and things. So the bot might be blocking you if you're trying to type too long or too quick back to back it might just be uh i just added an, a different bot to the stream today to try to give it a shot so that could be what is silencing you it might be Streamlabs rather than youtube we'll get the bots figured out look at this wavy going with the hardcore takeoff fine you want to be a show off we'll do it too we'll do it too 
going through. We did not give ourselves enough of a runway to do this. You didn't see anything. It was glorious. I'm doing it too. Try trying to do it too, but I'm gonna I'm gonna eat shit into the ocean. We didn't get up. We didn't get up. It's not gonna happen for us. Splish splash. I was taking a. How are we actually like getting slower? That is excellent. Oh, bunny hop it. Where's the catapult when you need it? Oh, he used takeoff trim. That's what it was. I was trying to listen to him. All right. That was a wasted life, but it was kind of fun to drift around on the grass. Um, I tend to... Yeah, yeah. It could be on the streamer end. Like, it, it might be my bot. For sure. It might be limiting, like, how, how much you you type at once. I just added it today because I read a, a horror story on some streamer stuff that of, like, channels being banned for lack of moderation. Uh, so I, I overreacted, admittedly. Um, just trying to make sure that uh, what I would rather do is overreact early and um, figure the moderation out early before it becomes a problem um so yeah if you are being limited what i would say would be smaller message give yourself like 10 seconds in between them and you'll probably get through uh and then i will take a look at the bot before my next stream and we will fix that because i don't like that i don't want you being censored um i want you to be free within reason to say what you want to say and to interact how you want to interact, right? Like, that's the thing. Backseating is encouraged. Interaction is encouraged. All of that. I'm here to play alongside of you guys. Um, you could even join if you have VTOL. Join the lobby. Like, it's... Everything I do is 100% open. Um, I think that's what is missing from a lot of content creators is it's not as open as it could be to viewers. So, I'm trying to fix that. But I have to censor certain words. Basically got jackpot from game in... in a, guy and got game yeah and game in and we're trying to extract it happens bro extract camping is a thing but but if you stoop to their level <laughs> you can make some big money extract camping especially on like matka or something all right we'll set this waypoint they're five out of ten they'll probably have it done by the time we get there if you extract camp well that's here how have we still not killed that is there still enemy stuff here it looks like it on the map what the hell what the hell all right how all right we'll drop these bombs they're in dumb mode so we'll just be careful not to rip our wings off again yeah funny it's it's i mean war chaser you've played tarkov you know how it is tabor is just vr tarkov bro like you know exactly how it is to be sitting there and either getting popped on an extract or being the one popping extracts. But gear fear, man, once you get over it, the game gets a lot more fun. But you probably will never get over gear rage. <laughs> I'm telling you, I had walked out. I had been recording all day. I recorded a bunch of VR, VTOL VR stuff. I'd been recording all day. And I walked out of my studio and... My wife was so polite, and she's like, hey, how's it been going? And I was, I just plopped down on the couch, like, please don't talk to me kind of thing. Because the answer was, it was not going well. Did I just get shot at by a teammate? Or was that on the ground? Don't be shooting at me. I shoot right back. I'll kill you if I have to. Don't make me have to. All right, well, now we got to circle back around to try to get on get those ground targets that were back there. Um, but yeah, I was like, dude, I don't even want to talk about how bad this just was. I I was livid by the time I got done recording on the day because Tabor just had me heartbroken. That is not friendly. That's got me. Yep, uh, I just realized that we had enemies on the other team. <laughs> We've been so not without it. At least Tabor has anti-cheat. It does. Um, they're doing... Uh, you're not stupid to that level. They do have anti-cheat. Um, and for the most part, like, there's not very many cheaters in Tabor. It's, it's nice to be able to say that. Because in Tarkov, that's not the case. Uh, so it's nice 
to have not so many cheaters. But yeah, that game will break your soul if you're not careful. All right, now that I know that there's enemy air, <laughs> we can focus on that. I was just flying around aimlessly because I was like, we haven't seen enemy air very much at all. Um, so let's get up in the air and fire some stuff. I took way too long to uh, switch my instruments around. Your team has 15 lives left. How dare we? All right. The problem with this guy is he might hit me before I even get in the air. Which is a sleazy move, but one I respect. I respect it if he can do it. Watch us had just been, like, getting a bunch of PvP gods in the lobby. Derp -a derp a fucking language. Figure it out if you're gonna talk, bro. Jesus. It was like these moments where I feel like my brain glitches in the middle of words. I think it's on purpose. I think the world, the universe, does this for comedic effect, for its own, like, self, that it fucks with me and it ruins my words. Tough but fair. Yeah. Tabor is definitely tough but fair. Arizona Sunshine, is it good? I know what it is. I don't have it, um, but is it good? I'm curious. All right, we got to swoop around. Yeah, I knew we weren't going to get far on that. Damn it. It's going to be hard to get off the runway right now. These guys are camping the base. Oh, no. Yeah, tell me, Arizona Sunshine, good or no? Uh, in all seriousness for the game, there's a difference between friendly lock, offensive lock. No, um, there is not. You just know if you got locked. It's brilliant if you've got people to play with. That's, I feel like that's Tabor too. Tabor is abs like just so much better with people. It's so much better with people. Okay. Um, let's see. These guys aren't bad. The problem is, is they're camping the airbase. They're camping the airbase, so we can't get up in the air. Right? That's the problem. Uh, there is no distinction, War Chaser, to your question, of enemy lock versus friendly lock. Right? It's just radar or not. So, you're, you're getting pinged with a radar signal or you're not getting pinged with a radar signal. And that's your distinction. Ah, I feel like there might be a little bit of weird light hitting my headset right now. My hand is behaving like it's getting hit by a weird ray of light the sun might be starting to move but my hand is behaving in a funny way checking i uh, got it if you hit his name yeah there is a discord server that's a good point thank you bud that's a really good point there's a discord server um if you join that that's the number one place you can find me i post often um, when I'm gonna play what I'm gonna play and it's typically open for you to join if you're interested um, So like info about this stream was posted there and then the other night I was playing Tabor and I posted that there and I ended up um, Can I fire off the ground? I'm almost certain I cannot Let's see. Oh My god, it let it happen Ha <laughs> That's what's up. It let it happen. I can't believe it let that happen. Oh my god. That is too, too funny. Okay. Um, that's not realistic, by the way. If there's weight on the wheels... There's literally just one target uh, back there at what like, is this guy saying? Uh, three zero. Bearing three zero. There's the last one. Should be, and then I think we're done. Got it. Yeah, the, uh... Alright, so that doesn't really happen. Typically, if there's weight on wheels, you don't get the ability to fire missiles even if your master arm is on in, like, real aircraft, right? So, same thing with your radar. If there's weight on wheels and your radar switch is on, the radar doesn't go on so that you don't cook the ground crew. Alright, we're gonna rain AIM-120s. We have plenty, so we're just gonna fire them at this guy. We're going to make him work for it, but he might actually get some shots off on us. So, he's a little bit far away, but not too far that we can't hit him. Um, it depends on what he does, how he maneuvers. They should be going pit bull any moment. Yep, he's coming at us. Where's the missile? 
Oh man, I missed. I wasn't paying attention to my RWR. Typically, you can watch the distance on your RWR and and G pull it, but I wasn't paying attention to it. Uh, I was watching the missile out of the window. I should have been watching the missile on the RWR. Alt will be disappointed when he sees that. You should probably add roles selection see if people. Yep, that is. Uh, so in the Discord there are roles. Um, but I, I get your point. I don't have platforms and I don't have headsets as roles, but I do have games as roles and then like specific maps. So like if you like to play island, like that's a role. Um, so there, there are some roles outlined in the Discord, but I definitely don't have them um, quest versus non-quest. Uh, I guess that would be more applicable to um, like quest only games, right? Because... I know, like, Pop 1, you can play Pop 1 um, cross-platform. I know Contractor Showdown is going to be cross-platform. I feel like maybe that's less and less applicable for the headset designation. But maybe the quest has a, a limitation to it. Because I play, even though I'm using a quest, I'm, I'm actually on Steam, right? Like this, uh, this game is not on the Quest Store, right? This game is only Steam. So I'm, I'm using virtual desktop and I'm just streaming to my computer or from my computer rather uh, on the Quest because I find it more comfortable than my other headset. So, uh, but that's a good suggestion to add a couple more roles. That was kind of the, the goal with the Discord. Did the room get a lot brighter? Oh shit, it probably is the sun. Um, my bad. The, the goal with the Discord was to get it up and running early and just have it there available and then add roles as needed. But that's a really good point. I will actually get in there tonight after the stream, as a matter of fact, and add those roles. It doesn't take more than two seconds to add a role. Those are super easy. All right, let's get flipped around. Um, actually, did that guy get taken care of? That's the question. I can't tell. Um, but I do know that we have... We have one more target over here for the most part. We capture this and we're going to get our lives back, I think. So it's kind of important for us to circle over here and try to get these bombs down. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll get a little bit of of uh, reinforcements. Yeah, I could, I could maybe turn the overhead light off in the room. The thing with VR is it's picky and sun can throw the tracking off by a little bit. Uh, my hand's behaving better now, so it could have been me for a moment. I could have just looked in a funny, funny way, and that's possible too. Oh, come on, bro. They are too far away. I'm not going to be able to get this. We're just gonna try to notch this missile. I've got it in the notch as much as I can. We're gonna dump chaff and flare. The problem is, it's got, I mean, I can shoot it down. That's another option too. Yeah, it's gonna get behind me. If it gets behind me, I can't shoot it down. Let's see. That's the advantage of heat seekers is if, how did that one, where was that at? Where's that other missile? The advantage with heat seekers is you can shoot them down. Or you can shoot down other missiles, rather. Sorry. Multitasking poorly. He would die as soon as I do that. Okay. I, I really want to take out this air target, but I cannot. Or this ground target, but I can't. I can't stop fighting these guys at the moment. All right, let's roll in. I'm gonna have to turn my G limiter off. And if I do that, I'm gonna rip the wings right off of this aircraft. I know it. These guys are running stealth aircraft too. He just dipped low. He dipped low to use terrain. What, where was he at? Careful, there's one out there like 120 far. He's using terrain. He's gonna pop up. We'll let that guy know. I'm gonna go over here and try to get these ground targets. Do you guys have contractors nights? Uh, no, not yet. Um, because I never really got into contractors itself. Um, and I'm waiting on contractor showdown. Like I'm once showdown comes out, like I'm like, I'm so excited for showdown. I can't, I can't say it enough. Uh, I'm actually taking, 
I think that entire like Thursday, Friday, I think I'm thinking like 10 days after off of work <laughs> just to play Showdown. Um, so once Showdown comes out, the answer to that will be yes, we'll have Contractor Showdown nights. Um, but I don't do anything with Contractors itself yet. And honestly, I probably won't. Um, I don't hate Contractors. Where the hell are those targets? I think they're gone. I think they're gone. Okay. Um, of course they would be now that I can take two seconds to shoot at them. Um, so I probably won't do a contractor specific night, but I will do plenty of contractor showdown nights. Uh, like that whole first week that that game out, that game is out. I'm probably just going to be streaming because <laughs> I'm taking it all off, bro. There's like COD zombies. Yep. Yep. I have it. I've played it. I, I enjoyed like the Halo mods and contractors, um, but I, I that was I was playing it a lot when I was new to VR, and I didn't have really good VR legs, and contractors and Tabor would make me a little queasy after like a short period of time, but that has changed. I could probably play it now, but I just uh, I don't want to taint Showdown for myself. Um, because I played the beta and I was like, oh shit, this game is where it's at. I genuinely think if there's anything that can make um, VR a little more mainstream, I think Showdown has a chance. I genuinely think Showdown has a chance. Contractors is cool. And there's a lot of really awesome mods. And people do cool shit with Contractors. But... Can you not shoot down PvP missiles? I've shot down plenty of missiles with heaters in uh, SAM sites specifically. It's okay. I'm not familiar with Contractors Knights. Yeah, Contractors is uh, is a game, War Chaser. It's just, uh, it's like Call of Duty. It's uh, like Team Deathmatch style shooters or uh, as sorts of like COD Zombies and stuff. Um, it's really cool because what they did is they opened it up for modding and. Um, Let's change our equipment. We're not taking... We're just going to take a bunch of, of missiles here. Uh, they opened it up to the community for modding. And the community did a phenomenal job at building really cool stuff. So you can get like Halo and VR and, and things like that. And Halo and VR is super cool. Super, super, super cool. Oh, oh hell yeah. We can three stack those. So yeah, Contractors is cool. It's not, like... My favorite thing about contractors, this sounds kind of silly, but my favorite thing about contractors is the price. The price is right for contractors. That game is like 20 bucks and it has an unlimited amount of content because of the modding community. It is amazing, amazing value. I don't think you'll find much better value out of a game than you will with one like contractors with that much mod support. All right, this guy's at 6,000. He's above me. I will fire heaters at him from the ground again if I have to. We got a couple guys that jumped in PvP, and they're just... They're doing it good. All right, they're, they're single-handedly turning the tide, and they're about to win. Putting that on your wish list. I love COD Zombies. Yeah. COD Zombie... Well, the original COD Zombies, though, was really good. Like, the World at War COD Zombies, I found to be a lot <laughs> enjoy that he's gonna shake every one of them too we'll fire that one oh that skipped that skipped off the ground <laughs> all right i love it oh no oh no we're getting strafed i gotta get out of here i'm gonna turn these into mad dog mode which i don't suggest doing um you will kill your teammates more times than not but for right now, it's going to be the way. Yeah, original World at War Zombies were sick. Um, I never played it much after, like, Black Ops 2. I just, uh... Oh, no. They got me engine. <laughs> I'm not even mad at this. This is hysterical. Um, I never played it much after Black Ops 2, though. Yeah, dude, put it on your wish list. Contract is cool. I'd put Showdown there first, though. Showdown's same. I think Showdown's, like, 25 bucks. Um, contractors is a lot though. Like it's, 
what I worry about is this with contractors is I, I wouldn't buy it today and not because it's a bad game. I think it's a really good game. This guy only has 10 kills because of how he's camping. Um, not because I think it's a bad game, but because Contractor Showdown is coming out, and I think they're going to just be lazy with Contractors after their new baby comes out. Because the same studio, so same developers are releasing Showdown, and I just, I have a feeling that they're gonna kind of take it easy, if you know what I mean. And, uh-oh, mission failed. Wah, 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 wah. That be that for that mission. Um, we still got like an hour and a half. Good job, Team B. What up, Team B? Y'all, uh, good, good job. Good job. Spawn camping paid off. It paid off. Good job, gents. Good job, gents. A bunch of love plus one. Y'all are number one. Y'all are number one. What up? <laughs> Y'all got some gay little arm patches, though. Those aren't, those aren't good arm patches. You're failing the arm patch fashion show. That's what's happened. I don't think you can say gay anymore, but we just did. So we can say it again. You can't say gay. We might say gay. Who knows? Tons of gay. <laughs> I got no problem if you're gay. But those arm patches are gay, and that's the different kind of gay. How many? <laughs> Horrible. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to fire up another lobby. So see y'all soon. All right, let me fire up another lobby right quick. I do think as long as mod support is good, uh, then the community will keep it alive. Yeah, but like from the mod support point of view, the community can only work within the constraints that the developers set up, right? So like if the developers leave uh, like a glaring security hole or a glaring bug in the game it's not like the modders are going to be able to fix that so or if like the net code starts getting really bad or if cheaters start getting crazy the modders aren't going to be able to fix that and it's going to be up to the devs and i think they're just going to be so focused on showdown let's do um we're going to run open world combat maybe one of these was short one of these had like a short there we go a quick one is there a pvp um no we can just run quick on this okay sweet we'll run quick on that i'll get back to my point in a second bear with me um yeah so the modders aren't going to be able to fix like the bigger issues with the game like they're not going to be able to add features and stuff like that um maybe and, and look to your point sword maybe right maybe uh, this is just my theory um and it's my theory based on experience of working in tech and software development and stuff like that so my theory is that it's not a gigantic team like call of duty has right it's not a big studio like blizzard or something like that where they have hundreds if not hundreds of thousands of employees right um working on things and granted like like world of warcraft doesn't have a hundred thousand developers on it but it has a lot of developers on it okay and that's not the case with contractors so i think what they're going to end up having to do is say we have 30 developers and either 28 of them can work on contractor showdown which is what makes us money today or 28 of them can work on old contractors which we don't make that much money off of anymore they're going to put it on the other other side of the fence in my opinion just from from working in in software and things like that they're just not gonna have a choice it's just a small team so i hope i'm wrong because contractors is a good game but you never know wavy dude great job it was fun playing with you brother happy to see you happy to have you here get some sleep yes we will see you next friday friday night flights happens every friday from 2 p.m pacific time to 5 p.m pacific time so we got about another hour and a half of friday night flights we're just gonna let this lobby fill up a little bit um it's really slim pickings on vtol tonight if we don't get a big lobby what i'll do is i'll close down the multiplayer side of this and i'll go run um open world combat which is by itself a single player dynamic thing. So I saw a question uh, about my headset. Is it a Valve Index or a Quest 3? This is a Quest 3. Um, I have monkey. Let's see the arm patch. Hold up. Arm patch fashion show. Let's see what you got. What's up? Let's see the arm. Okay. All right. You can live. You pass. It's a, we're going to give that a six and a half out of 10. What you think? Fair rating? All right, bet. 
Arm Patch Fashion Show. Let's see what you got. It's the rules. You join the lobby. We check your arm. You are in the last one. What is this? What, is this like a wizard? All right. Okay. All right. See, that's not my real hand. All right. Pixel art wizard, I think. Or a pixel art person holding a broom. Maybe he's sweeping. We will never know. Maybe it's a nun. Looks kind of like a nun, if you look at it quick enough. Pixel art nun and broom. All right, um, this is a quest three. I have, uh, let's get this thing going. Um, and then I will tell you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, clear skies, bomb targets. Let's grab some equipment. Um, aim 120s. We're not going to take rockets. We're going to take 120s. Uh, quickly, quick. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to take RSTs. I like them. We're going to, okay, this is how it works. If you've been here for a minute, you know this is how it works. I am going to load up with an anti-air loadout. And I'm going to see absolutely nothing but ground targets. That's how it's going to work. Actually, let me load recommended. Can I do that? Does it do anything? AGM 126s and an, what is this asynchronous bullshit? Uh, no. No. I see what it did there. Actually, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll play it their way. Why not? These are anti-radiation missiles. It gave me a three stack. It put them asynchronous loadout, so the jet's going to list a little bit with some RST. AIM-120s, AIM-120s, AGM-88s, anti-radiation, GBU-39s. I feel like we're going to deal with more stuff in the air. I'd rather have more anti-air missiles than GBUs. So we're going to run that. That's what it's going to be. Okay, so I have a Quest 3 that I'm playing with right now. I have a Pimax Crystal that I play with when I play DCS um, or if I'm just like recording VTOL and I'm not going to be doing it for three or four plus hours. Um, I also use that for racing, like eye racing and stuff. I will use my Pimax Crystal for. Um, it is uncomfortable. I think it's a waste of money. I don't think it's a good headset. I think when you compare it to the Quest 3, the Quest 3, like if we had to rank these out of 100 with the Pimax Crystal being 100, like if, if the Pimax Crystal being like the pinnacle of 100, the greatest as it could be, right? Like Because that's what they touted as. They're like, oh, the Crystal is the best thing since sliced bread. It's not. It sucks. Um, then if that's 100, the Quest 3 is like a 90. It's like a 90. And it's so much cheaper than the crystal um because yes the crystal comes with inside out tracking uh, if you want it to right so it comes by default with inside out tracking just like the quest does and so you don't need base stations but it's bad quest has the best inside out tracking out of everybody and i still I, like i would much rather not have inside out tracking okay so that's a real thing i would I still have those fucking GBUs. You gotta be kidding me. Um, I still don't like inside out tracking. I prefer outside in tracking, but the quest makes it like 90% as good. I don't even know half the time that I have uh, inside out tracking. Let's go ahead. I guess we'll, we'll do this. We'll protect our carriers first. So like, I don't even know half the time that I'm inside out tracked on a quest. Plus quest pro controllers, which I don't have, they track themselves like the tracking is right on the controller that's pretty cool um visually the quest 3 is so close to the pimax crystal that there are times where i will play dcs with the quest 3 just because it is so much more comfortable the the comfort on the on the pimax crystal is horrible it's not comfortable to wear i've tried i've got different face foam i've got different head straps i've done everything i can to try to make this comfortable and it is not comfortable no matter what i seem to do i can't make it fun to wear whereas the quest 3 i ran two quick mods on it i have an upgraded face shield just because i like the material of this one better than uh we're gonna go ahead and tuck behind this hill here use terrain to break that lock um it has a much better face pad 
uh, with an aftermarket adjustment. I like the way it feels better. And I have this aftermarket head strap that includes battery packs, right? And that lets me play a lot longer and I can switch the battery packs out. And I had this when I had a Quest 2. So I used to have a Quest 2 um, and the Quest 3 is exponentially better than the Quest 2. So to get the Pimax Crystal to play as well as the, as the Quest 3 does, you need base stations and you need um, index controllers, which I, I have, but then the cost of it is so expensive compared to what a Quest 3 is, right? So you just, you lose out. Why is my Hemix? There we go. It's off. That's why. Um, you lose out on the cost benefit because you have to buy the base stations and the controllers. That's what I was trying to say as I'm getting shot at by a missile. Is that an enemy? I think so. We'll fire that. So uh, the Quest 3 is just a, a significantly better value for your money. We'll fire that. We can't lock that, huh? You can lock SAM missiles. It's a much better value for your money, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so I have a Pimax Crystal. Their software sucks too. You have to run like a middleware software layer to get it to work. It sucks, it's buggy. The Quest 3 I run virtual desktop with and uh, it works just fine. Although I did have to put it on a dedicated network. Um, I might do a video on that. There seems to be a lot of questions about that. It's, it's a whole lot easier than it sounds. Um, and then I have a Pimax 8K Plus, which I like which is why I bought the Pimax Crystal. Um, the Pimax 8K Plus, like I had my Crystal on pre-order for over a year because the 8K Plus was so good. Um, although it is uncomfortable, but it's light. It's light like the Quest 3 is where the Pimax Crystal is super damn heavy. Um, I'm really interested in getting a big screen beyond and I'm, I'm on the fence. If I cannot get my Crystal to fit comfortably, I'm gonna sell it and get a big screen beyond instead. Um, so yeah, Index though, I've heard is a good choice for being an older headset. It seems to be holding up nicely. I would argue that you probably get a more comfortable, better experience with the Quest 3 than you would an Index. The Quest 3 might be an upgrade to the Index, but I don't know, I'm not in the Index ecosystem. Um, I've never owned or used an Index. I have used a Quest 2, a Pimax 8K, Pimax Crystal, and Quest 3. And I find myself using the Quest 3 significantly more than the Pimax Crystal. So, just comfort, really. Um, my nasal passages are important to me. I don't have the best, like, sinuses. Uh, and the Crystal sits more comfortably on my face. And I don't have to, uh, like, sniffle as much and be uncomfortable um, the Pimax crystal that's not true the headset is the epitome of uncomfortable man we are getting worked pretty well for this being PVE I'm gonna be running out of chaff and flare here pretty soon yep and dead I saw that coming at the last second so hopefully that helps a little bit <laughs> I gotta go, but it was uh, it was nice seeing you. Hey man, I'm glad to have you stop by. I'm I'm happy you were able to make it. It's always good to see a new new face. So uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for the conversation, dude. It's great chatting with you. Frosty's still up, huh? Just chilling, playing my games. What you playing, Frosty? What's on the docket, brother? What you playing? What are you playing? Oh, I did somehow rack up two kills. All right, one death though. No. Death to Smoochie. Don't be dying. I need to quickly check my battery and grab a drink of water. So I'm going to put you guys on a be right back for like 30 seconds. It's not going to take long. I just, my water's on my desk. I'm going to switch out these batteries. So we'll be right back in just a moment. Bear with me. It won't take long. I promise. I won't keep you.
See, what I say? It wasn't going to take long. Okay, I just got to make sure my game window's in focus, and then we'll come back. Um, boom. And then it looks like, it looks like we got a new sub. Uh, Isaiah Singleton, welcome, dude. Thanks for the sub. That's super awesome. Very awesome. Hi. I'm here. I promise, monkey. That's awesome. I'm super stoked. I'm glad. I'm also happy Stream Elements is working. That was one of the things I integrated today. So, I'm glad that's working. I feel like uh, over the past two streams or so, I've missed one or two subs as they've come in because I haven't had Stream Elements set up and that bothered me. So I wanted to make sure I got some sort of notification um, when you joined. And if we were not on my break screen, there would have actually been an alert that you uh, you joined, but I needed water, brother. I was thirsty. I needed water. I'm happy to have you though. Um, feel free to join if you're if you're stopping by and you want to jump in, you want to play. It's Friday Night Flights 0351. We're playing just a little bit of this. Uh, I think it's Dynamic Liberation. Um, I think that's the mission. It's an open lobby. Please feel free, jump in, play. There's no requirement if you're new to the game, if you're bad at the game, if you barely even like the game. You are welcome here. We're just chilling, okay? So come on by. There's no requirement, no no rhyme or reason for how to get in. You just, you join. It's that simple. Friendly environment. We're not toxic, not gonna be toxic. We're just steady chilling. This is just a way for me to enjoy Friday. And uh, that's why we're here. Yeah, super cool, super happy, new sub. I love it. That puts us one closer, one closer to that goal of 300. We're working on 300 subs right now. We had a crazy pop over the weekend. I don't know what the hell happened. Or sorry, not weekend, but um, last night, just out of nowhere, subs went crazy. Um, a video took off, a Tabor video just went absolutely crazy. So if you like Ghost of Tabor, um, you'll find that here too. We're going to need to take out that radar. That's gonna be a problem. That might be what is shooting at us. Let's go with these. I forget how to use these, if you wanna know the truth. I, I have not used these missiles much. There's the answer. We'll fire that. They're short range though, so nothing really to write home about. We'll fire those off. We'll switch nav back. And we'll get back on our air-to-air -air and just try to stay alive here. We'll make it rain. Throw some explosive telephone poles at these things around here. And then um, as they get ready to go pit bull, we will duck behind the hills here. I, don't, I think those shots might miss. They're 16 miles out. Those missiles are really picky with how accurate they can be at range. Especially in this game. Um... We might sling some more. Oh, nope, splash. No need to sling more. All right, that guy's down. What do we have for air to ground? We got AGM 88s. We got two 88s. Let's let's uh, put them to use. Perfect timing. We'll fire two 88s down there, and we will spin ourselves back. Let's notch this. I always find it easier to notch a missile if you bleed altitude as well. I say that as I'm probably gonna get fucking popped by this missile. Yep, and we will pull. That's nine G's. That should be enough. Oh, blacking out. This pilot needs to hit the gym, bro. He blacks out way too much. You gotta hit the gym. You can't be doing that shit. If you're gonna be flying a jet, you better be in shape. You better be in shape. Alright, let's get back here. Let's reset. Let's reset and see what's next, ladies and gentlemen. All right, battery still looks good. We're back to charging. All right, all right. This mission's a lot of fun. If you haven't played it, you should play it. That's the, the gist. The gist of all things. Honestly, VTOL's a ton of fun. If you haven't played it, you should play it. All right, um, let's try to find... Really, we just have air to air right now. Uh, that's all that's left on the jet, so taking out these targets, it's kind of going to be our responsibility. These are really far shots. Um, at least it seems like it. Oh, maybe not anymore. We'll make it rain quite a few, and hopefully, hopefully he can't shake all of them. 
right? Here come more explosive telephone poles. We're supposed to say Fox 3, but I don't really like foxes. I think he might have shot at me. All right, those are Pitbull. We are low on countermeasures. Let's take a look over here. Do we hit him? It does. Yep, splash that guy. Okay, he's going down. I think we hit him with like two out of three. That was a pretty good deal. Uh, our base, though, is being completely bombarded. These carriers are getting it pushed in. And I don't know where it's coming from. I don't see anything on the radar. Let's go ahead and open up the nav screen. I don't have any air to ground. It's, it's whatever I need. I tend to not have. Um, but this is getting completely blown up. And I don't know by who or by where. No clue. Which is why you might catapult them. You should hop in the heli. <laughs> yeah, one day. Um, I can't fly the helicopter good enough to to put it into a mission. I can fly it good enough to not crash it into a mountain. I can't fly it good enough to um, evade a missile, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, if you fly the heli, though, you should uh, show me. We should pair up. We'll do a heli flight school. It'll be fun if you're a heli person. I'm in. I think it's one of the more fun aircraft. I'm just really bad at it. I don't think it would be entertaining. Like, I'm bad at, at this aircraft, and I'm, like, super bad at the helicopter. I can go in with guns, I guess? Try to strafe this, but I think I'm going to get shot out of the sky the moment I attempt. We'll see. We got a teammate down here doing it. I don't have any more air to ground, so we'll try to get him. The heli's super cool, though. It's my favorite DLC. I think it's the it's one that's really worth buying if you play all, any VTOL, really. And if you want to play with friends. Thank you for the help. I was struggling with that. I couldn't get down to speed fast. Yeah, man. Sorry I didn't see it soon enough. I'd have been here sooner. Uh-oh. Mission failed. How are we... Oh. Weird. Well, we'll restart it. <laughs> Bummer. All right, we lost because we uh, protected or we failed to protect a carrier. Um, cool. We'll run it back. We'll run it back. That was strange. I have about 80 hours. In. Do you really? Dude, come fly with me. I'm in. Let's do it. That sounds... Come fly with me for real. Show me how to fly this thing. I can fly, as I said, man, I cannot hit a building, right? Like, I can fly low. I can maneuver it around. Um, but the moment there's a missile, like, I either jack up too much torque or, or something, and I, I roll it every time. And, like, I know there's, like, the, the assistance, the rotational assistance, but I find it most comfortable to play with that turned down a little bit. Like, when it's, when it's all the way up, I feel like I can't get the helicopter to move around at all. Um, but when it's about 50%, I feel like it it's a lot easier to maneuver yeah man dude discord that's the answer in discord um ping me up ping me there i Hello. like legit Hello. um Hello. sometime soon sooner rather than later like within the next week i'm totally down totally down it's a matter of uh time zones for me and just and figuring out how to make it work and i'll do what i can to figure out how to make it work like hell yeah like it'd be so fun to jump in the heli the link um i don't have it off the top of my head it's in the channel description brother so wherever the channel description is for the youtube channel there's the link is right there it might also be in this video description i'm pretty sure the link is there too for the discord um it's not the world's most active discord but that's a good thing in my opinion because when people ping and say hey i'm gonna play uh, I see it <laughs> and then I can jump in and play because I, I use it to team up with you guys like that's the general purpose of that discord is to be able to play with you guys um, so join it that's where you'll find me like I, I if I play Tabor if I play VTOL I typically say hey like hey I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in um, unless like I have like a very specific thing that I'm trying to do um, in which case I don't post but usually 
Usually I'm like, hey, I'm gonna play. And you should come play too. Found it. Bet. Sweet, dude. Love it. It's the place to be. It's where you're gonna find the most of what I can offer. It's direct access. It's as direct as being on stream. Um, and yeah, man, so just grab me there. And like when you're thinking about playing, just ping me and be like, dude, like, do you want to play? And if I'm free and the answer is yes, then I will jump on. Um, it's really more of a timing thing than it is a will to play thing. I got to like take kids to, I saw your message where chaser about the radar, about extending it. And maybe, maybe we can push it out a little bit. I think they're a little closer than 30 miles, though. Right now, this green 32, we're at 32 nautical miles. I think they're a little coarser, or closer. Did it count that objective is done? But yeah, so it's, a, it's really a matter of timing if I play. Um, it somehow accounted that, oh, fuck, I, I fucked up. I triggered a thing. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I got, like... Lots of sporting events and stuff that I got to take care of with myself, my kids. So if I'm not doing those things and I'm playing, then I'm in. 100% in. I still have GBUs, damn it. I really don't like GBUs in these, these situations. I went the wrong way, I think. And now we're going to have a problem. Where is that first one? Oh, I did not mean to trigger this. I did not mean to trigger this at all. I meant to defend the carriers. And I failed. Somehow trigger this. Sunday, Monday. Um, honestly, this time around, Monday is probably... This week, Monday is probably better. Monday is probably better. Sunday is like 50-50, but like Monday is probably better for this week. I'm uh, and then like I can only tell you this week I'm actually waiting on schedules. I get I get sports schedules should be this this upcoming week. Um what I do know is Tuesday nights are not going to be good for me and then certain times on Saturday, certain times on Sunday won't be good for me and then I don't know what days my kids are going to end up having practice during the week for their upcoming season. Um, but I know I have games on Tuesdays. So, plot twist, I play a little bit of ice hockey. Not very good, um, but it's what I do on a weekly basis. It's kind of a strange thing to do. Um, it's a really strange thing to start doing when you're, like, as old as I am. Which, again, not super old, but definitely older than the age of, like, Let's start playing ice hockey. But it's been a ton of fun. But that's what my Tuesdays are going to be um, for this season. Usually I play Mondays. That's why it's hard. There's a missile coming at me. We're going to put him on the notch. We're going to use some terrain. Betty. Betty, listen here. If you were here in one of the previous live streams, you saw me complaining to Betty about her voice and then I smacked right into a mountain hit the side of the damn mountain as I told bitchin Betty to stop her bitchin sweet man Monday works um, tomorrow I am not free tomorrow I have uh, an IL2 date <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna play some IL2 and then I have some early morning lacrosse um, for one of my kids and then I think my wife has an event that she has going on tomorrow that I will need to uh, be more readily available to parent and um, VR kind of makes that hard so right now she's being a, a hero and holding down the fort so that I could be here hanging out with you guys um, so tomorrow's kind of I gotta share unfortunately for now but if uh at any point YouTube ends up turning into a job <laughs> then I won't have to share but I don't think that's gonna happen and that's totally fine that's not the goal here the goal here is play games with a community of people that like to play VR games and have a little fun make some content while we do it yeah she is a boss she's crushing it what time um I don't know for me it will be it will be at a minute probably around this same time 
to be the answer, to, if I can give you the, the clearest of answer. 2 p.m. is probably the the earliest, 2 p.m. Pacific time is probably the earliest time that I can pull it off. Um, but that's where Discord is helpful. Uh, there's some timestamps that we can add in Discord and it makes coordinating this a whole lot easier. And uh, I can do like earlier morning as well. Like I have no problem getting up at like seven, six or seven a.m. my time and doing it just to make some content out of it and have fun. Um, but as far as afternoon, evening stuff, two is like as early as I can do it. So it depends on what time zone you're in, where you're at, you know? That's the the global challenge. We're flying through here. I don't remember if my aim 120s are still in mad dog mode. It sounds like it. it. Sounds like it. Oh, that was an AGM. There we go. Not the missile. All right. I died there because I was trying to figure out if my aim 120s were still in mad dog mode, which means I do not have to lock them on radar. In case you didn't know, mad dog mode means you don't have to lock a target on the radar. It automatically activates the homing head on the aim 120 and it latches on to the first radar signature it sees, including your teammates, which is why I don't often fire them in mad dog mode. But I was hit and I was getting ready to go down anyway. So I figured why not give it a shot and uh, kind of just got too focused. Too focused on that, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes it happens. There's a lot to manage, to stream, to fly, to talk, to fuck with weapons, to watch this guy in his cool little canopy over there. Um, tons to manage. It's still such a fun way to play games though. Oh shit, way too fast. Slow down. Anybody ever use a launch catapult as a uh, brick wall to stop your momentum? That's the way to do it. Danger zone. We don't want to get too involved in that. Let's go. Let's do it. I saw a contact over here. Is my advisor down? Okay. I saw a contact over here on the radar. We're going to kind of fly this way. See contact down there too. We're gonna fly over here though and try to assist. Maybe it's the same spot. I don't know. Map's a little weird. I think it might be the same spot. All right, so we do need to take this stuff out. I'm pretty sure. Objective: clear all cities. Right. That's not what we're on. Protect carriers. Yeah. Approach sector B. Yep. That was an accident. <laughs> Capture the airboard air base. That's that's what that would be. Really, I'd rather do this. I feel like I spawned weirdly or uh, maybe the map is randomly generated i don't know i don't know bro i don't know i need this though i did see a guy coming over here i saw him and betty you over g how uh, fucking dare you what is he that close oh my god i didn't pick him up on radar at all those are really tight shots there's no way those hit 90s. We'll fire that as we G lock. Oops, not what I wanted to press. We can get these in mad dog mode. And we'll fire that. The aim 120 came out late. Something else already hit him. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. We'll fly back around. I don't know how the hell that guy got so close. I didn't pick him up on radar at all. My radar is on. I might switch. I think there's another radar, if I remember right. Or maybe wrong jet. Could be wrong jet. We will not smack into the ground. That never goes well if you just start eating shit into a mountain. Um, we got another 26 with us. I'm flying really high, which means I'm not able to use terrain to my advantage. Um, Betty, quit your bitching. I feel like I'm married to bitching Betty, bro. She just doesn't stop. Just yakety yak yak yak. I think these targets here on the radar, there's a little orange diamond. I think they're going to be on top of the hill. I don't really know. But that's what I assume. That's where I assume they are. I could be wrong. As we fly high. There we go. There's one. 
I'm not going to be able to get slow fast enough, I don't think. Maybe. I just can't fly well enough. Why was that so far off? I don't think I hit that at all. We do got to turn around. We got to kill that. That's part of this. It's showing up on the map as something that needs to die. So we will turn around. We'll get that thing killed. Give ourselves... I didn't expect it to be right there. That was just... Too much. No stalling. I didn't expect it to be right there. I am super all over the place, bro. Alright, I think we hit it that time. It looked like it. It's off the, the map now. Shooting through a tree is always tough, man. Can't see anything. Um, that looks to be a friendly base launching missiles. So that's okay. Maybe... It's got blue on it. Um, maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Alright. Um, we do have some not so friendly things on the ARAD over here that are locking us. Nope, that thing is not friendly at all. Let's fire these as much as we can. We're just gonna. Damn it! Oh, what? I didn't see them there at all! I was gonna fire as much ordnance as I can, because I knew I was gonna get hit. I didn't see them down there at all. Why wasn't that rendering? Come on, man! I'm gonna start crying. If I have to. Just <laughs> crying on stream. We might go raid somebody else's lobby. We might do that. We might pop into somebody else's lobby and see what they're doing. There's like three people in here. It's okay. It's okay. I like this. I do like this uh, mission. So, tis okay. All right. Kick this stuff on. We'll do this again. Do this again. And we will grab Approach Sector B. We're just going to take that one. Let's get back in there. I am not paying attention, people. When you're not paying attention, you get popped out of the sky. And when you get popped out of the sky, you got to do the, the respawn of shame. Did I get in there? Come on. Nope, I missed. Yeah, man, loud and clear. He's about to be really disappointed when nobody does the chit chat thing. When nobody's talkative, this is an untalkative lobby compared to the first one that we had. All right, launch bar's down. Not juicing it into the catapult at like 50 knots is always helpful too. It's kind of inch your way in and life is good. Unless I'm getting hit by a bug again, which has been known to happen. Every now and then I'll get caught up with some kind of bug that like doesn't let me fly. Gotta step away. Cool, man, I'll see you when get back. Step away, step away. Everybody's leaving me. Now I can talk about them behind their backs. Dooby dooby doo boo. A shooby doo. If you're new to the stream, man, we are well on our way to trying to get to 300 subscribers. Um, just last week, we had less than 200, so it's been a really good subscriber week. If you've made it this far into the live stream, either watching the replay and or you're here right now, like, subscribing is, uh, is huge to me. Make me feel great. It'll uh, kick my weekend off wonderfully. If you want to know what's going on, you can join the stream, right? It's an open lobby. The lobby name is Friday Night Flights 0351. Anybody is welcome to come and join and play alongside me. Um, chat in game, whatever it might be. This is all open to the public all the time. Always will be. It's the way I prefer to game. So feel free to jump in if you are watching and you wanted to want to come in and play. Um, I've actually seen a few of you guys use really cool overlays, uh, just like my overlay here, to actually put the stream overlaid in-game as we play, which is really cool, A, because you can stream snipe me that way, which sucks for me, but it's fun for you, and B, it just gives you a way to participate and be a part of it, which I like. This is a very community-driven thing for me, and um, as a result, the more I can do with you, the happier I am doing it in general. So feel free to join. It's really not a problem. If you're curious about the gear, I'm running a Quest 3. 
Uh, currently, I use virtual desktop. I have the Quest 3 on a dedicated network to my desktop. My desktop is, however, Wi-Fi. Everyone says that it's a bad plan, but it works out just fine for me. Um, so, you know, do as you will. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it works out well. So, if uh, that's all you got, that's all you got. And it works. So, yeah. Uh, that's the current gear. I do have a, a crystal and some other stuff. I'm not bound to the Quest 3. I am a little bit, though, of a Quest 3 fanboy. I think it's a great headset. A great, great headset. We can't shoot that yet. Can we shoot this? I got popped by a few things here a moment ago. And, uh... I can't seem to get shots off on him. I don't know where that's at. There it is. Ugh. I don't know why I can't shoot this, but I'm not happy about it. That's dead. I don't know why I can't shoot that missile. There we go. We got a we got a singer. Someone's singing. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. I hate when I make, I turn my wrist like an idiot. All right, where are these fucking sights at? Why wasn't I getting a shoot cue before? Why wasn't I getting a shoot cue before? That's not cool. Shoot. We'll fire as many ordnance out as we can. Just trying to get these kills knocked out. Before this thing shoots at me. I do not consent to your missile firing. This is 2024. You must ask if you're going to jam a telephone pole in my ass. That's the rule. And you're not asking. You're just doing. Let's circle around over here. Holy tons of shit. All right. Let's try to get some strafing kills in. Lots to go over here. I don't know why it's not showing up very well for me. There's one. I'm just not able to see what's going on very well today. I don't know why. Yes, Betty. We know. We're pulling up. Don't worry, girl. We got it. Bitch and Betty there saving lives since like probably like 1960 or something. You never know. Somebody's complaining about Sam sites. Sam sites all around, buddy. Just get them done. Somebody's in a 24. It'd be nice if that guy would come over and jam for us. If we could get him to actually do his jamming. It sounds like that's what he might be doing. Somebody's talking about getting some jamming in. Um, that would be huge. I wish I had something a little more air to groundy, but I know how this works. The moment I switch to it, it it's gonna be all anti-air for me. I know it. Come on, this is a tight turn. That's not gonna work. All right, target hunting. Where, oh, where could they be? We do have 55 rounds left. Um, from where, it's probably friendly. It's got to be friendly, right? There's like nothing else over here. It's got to be friendly. There's no way it came from the town. How? Oh, it's these trucks. Okay. Fine. Suit yourself, bro. You want to shoot at me? It's not going to end well for you. It ended just fine for him because I'm out of ammo. Alright, let's get out of here. Can we use the terrain? Yes, we can. Look at that. Threading the needle through the buildings. No 9-11 here, baby. Never forget. Gonna go through the skyscrapers like we got somewhere to be. Oh, man. Between saying gay earlier and that, everyone's gonna hate me if you make it this far into the VOD. <laughs> Hoo-wee. All right. Um, maybe, maybe there's some air for us to assist with because... I have nothing, nothing to help any of the ground fight with anymore. So we're going to spin around here. And I think there is some air down this way. The question is where? There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Just on cue, we get air targets coming in. As we say, it sure would be nice to get air targets coming in. Let's go ahead and shoot this. We're actually gonna unlock. Oh my god, where? I can't see the missiles today. Usually I can see them. I know, super dead, bro. 
both me and my my words <laughs> what the hell i cannot see missiles at all today i don't know what it is usually you can see the smoke trail and you can see them coming from like before they come in there and give you a smackety smack but today i just i cannot see it i don't know what it is man i don't know why Ooh, it is getting hot summertime is 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 almost here man it's really starting to warm up my office area studio area whatever you want to call it is starting to get awful warm not looking forward to it it's gonna be damn hot especially sitting in a vr headset i have to set up some fans just far enough away to where they can't be heard um on a video but close enough to where i can feel them gonna have to do it i'm not gonna make it if not i'm not gonna be able to do it easy run such a cool name if you're new here welcome bud and if you've uh, been here before sorry if i missed you i love the name though genuinely think it's a cool name big fan big fan big fan love it welcome to the channel nonetheless all right lots of wind coming off the carrier they must have the wind machine We'll have to find a way to destroy that. Stinky is gone. What a name. What a name. Shoot. You want to lock me? I'll lock you. And I will shoot missiles too. I'm not not sweating it, bro. I'll launch missiles. No problem. They're early, though. They're not going to hit. Okay, I can see that. That one I feel like I can see, but barely. And I don't even know if it's coming to me. Let's break lock with some terrain, hopefully. The problem is, is like we broke lock for our mi our own missiles. That's the problem with that. They're almost certainly going to miss. That guy's over here, though. Who is this? And what are you doing? Is that friendly? Is this friendly? Yes, that's friendly. Okay. That guy got splashed. We do have more. Where is this? Where are you? Um, uh, let's... We'll do it. Let's get down behind this hill. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think we're going to get there. We're not going fast enough for a good G-pull. Ugh. I think we somehow defeated that. Somehow defeated that. That's insane. We'll launch these. We'll launch these. I don't even know where I'm shooting now. Ares T, come on, where are you? Yep, you can enjoy those missiles. I definitely got shot down, but I am pretty certain all of those are going to hit. Mostly certain all of those are going to hit. That should be good kills. Should be good kills. Black Heck. That's a good name. I wish I could see arm patches. I guess these are their arm patches. That's a pretty good okay thing. Pretty good okay. Pretty good okay. Alright, let's see what we can do. Four millionth time is the charm, ladies and gentlemen. Too many deaths this mission, to be honest with you. We are dying a lot. I'm just not really trying to defend all that diff like hard I'm not paying attention to how many G's I'm pulling I'm not paying attention to putting um, missiles where they belong in the notch uh, so I'm, I'm just overall doing a bad job at being a pilot um, so it's just my fault for I guess multitasking a little too much to be effective but I do think that we have unlimited lives in this mission so I'm less worried about it. We do have a guy right off our nose over here. He looks like he's down. Nope, he's not down. He is now. He is now for sure. Between all those missiles going at him, there's no way he lives. Splish, splash, come take a bath. All right. Oops, we don't want to do that. But we will pull this up and we'll turn the APU off. And we will get back to our 120s, which we're going to sling 
A ton of... Oh, man, I hope you guys all have super awesome weekend plans. It is the weekend. I love Friday night flights. It is the best way to just, like, end a good work or school week. It's just hop on some VTOL VR, fly around, enjoy the scenery, you know what I'm saying? And get some combat in. Kill some shit along the way. Um, this game is, is honestly quite relaxing to me. I don't take it too serious. And the lack of taking it serious is what is incredibly helpful. So, I think everybody's still working on B here. We got a few players in game. Everybody's still working on B. I think they could just be flying around, maybe even team killing. I hope not. There's not much team killing that takes place in the Friday night flight stream. So, hopefully it stays that way. The good news is we have some of our anti ground stuff back up and running um there are going to be some ground targets in here though so we can try to go in here and get some hits i wish you could sling heat seeking missiles at like trucks and stuff you know you think that the missile would be able to pick up those heat signatures but it just doesn't um i guess at this point i probably should have grabbed a rocket or two uh, for some of this ground stuff. We do have ground stuff to take out. Where or where are you? See, I'm just not seeing anything. It's like, there we go. So now that shows up. Like, all of this is crazy. I feel like it came out of nowhere. Like, how come I couldn't see this guy sooner? Like, why are things taking forever to pop up for me today? It's making it difficult. And not in like a, oh, this is challenging and fun way. But like a... I can't focus on the game well because I can't see anything kind of way. Like that guy. Like, where was that ring a minute ago around that, that track? We're going to turn around. We're going to strafe him too. I don't know who's shooting a missile. I feel like that's team killing. I feel like it is. Somebody might be in here with some team killing. That couldn't, might not have been a team missile at all though. You never know. It's so tough to tell. Where are they coming from? The rooftop? Nope, that's not team. You motherfucker. Come on. You want to shoot missiles at me and then hide behind a building? Solid strat. Okay? Solid strategy. You do what you got to do. Pussy. <laughs> Man, I saw this clip of a, a baseball player. There was a pitcher. And somebody bunted. If you're not familiar with baseball, bunting is like when you take a, a half-assed swing and just kind of let the ball dribble. And he was livid. He ended up striking out a bunch of players and then he's talking mad shit. He's calling everybody a pussy for bunting and stuff. It was pretty funny. He was mad mad though. Do I not have heaters? I don't have any heat seeking missiles left. And I got hit again. Dude, what is up with my loadout? I don't like this loadout. What is happening? Love the channel. Oh, boy gaming, what up, dude? For real? Such kind words. I appreciate you, brother. That's huge. Um, thank you. I, I, I'm always, like, taken back and not sure what to say all the time, you know? Other than thank you. Thank you doesn't seem like enough sometimes, you know? It's like, man, it's it's really awesome to see people come by and say that they're, they're enjoying the content. Uh, I really am just doing it for fun, you know? Like, a lot of people, they set out and they try to do these grandiose things. But really, I wanted to uh, to make VR friends. Because a lot of my friends that I used to game with, um, they're all like on console and whatever. And I don't have any VR friends. And I've kind of moved on to VR gaming. I think it's amazing. I think it's the coolest thing that we've seen in gaming in a really long time. So I don't have like VR buddies. The truth is, I probably don't have any friends. That's not true. I do have some friends, like four. <laughs> um, that's still not a lot. Uh, but yeah, man. So I, I, I started doing this in hopes to just make a better VR circle of people to hang out with, right? Just find people to play with. So I'm glad you like the content, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. It means a lot to me that you'd stop by and say that. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, dude. Fridays are amazing. I love kicking the weekend off. And uh, there's no better way to start a weekend. Selfishly, this is my ego boost for the weekend. There's no better way to start the weekend than just chatting with people in a live stream. 
just being able to hang out with you guys, chit chat, goof off, play games. A lot of times, uh, if you're on the stream in the chat, you're you're typically jumping in the lobby and playing too. So, um, if you want to join, the lobby name is Friday Night Flight Zero Three Five One. Can't miss it. It's an open lobby, open to anybody. Uh, you don't have to be a member of the Discord. You don't have to be a subscriber to the channel. You don't have to do any of that. You can just come on in and participate and have fun. Feel free to chat in game with me if you want to. I'm uh, totally happy. Ghost of Tabor, can I try out Ghost of Tabor? Hell yeah, baby. Um, check my channel, dude. I got a ton of Tabor videos. Um, and here's the thing, I, I, I think you mean, can I stream Tabor? And I plan to. So I'll give you, I'll give you the, the game plan for the next little bit. With the goal right now, it's 300 subs. But at 250, I'm going to cut you guys a break. At 250, I'm going to add a streaming day. So I'm going to pick a day to stream. It's probably going to be Mondays, to be honest with you. I'm going to add a streaming day. And I think what I'm going to stream that day is Into the Radius. That's been a suggestion that I play it. I haven't played it ever, ever. But I'm, I'm honestly kind of scared that I'm going to be too scared playing Into the Radius. It seems like a really jump scary kind of game. Um... But that's going to be probably what I stream uh, as like next is like a thing. Friday Night Flights is always Vito VR. Um, I'm going to add a day and I'm going to do Into the Radius. And then what I want to do is add two more days as the demand for it shows up. Why can I not use? Oh, they're not in dumb mode. Um, so as the demand for it shows up, I will... I will add more days, and one of those days will be Tabor. I love Tabor. I play a lot of Tabor. It's one of my favorite games. Um, and Contractors Showdown is coming out soon. How? Are you kidding me? Contractors Showdown is coming out soon, and uh, I plan to add that. So ideally, we'll have a VTOL day. That's that's one day. We'll have a Tabor day. That's two days. We'll have an Into the Radius day, just until the, the story is completed. So I don't know. We'll call it somewhere between 30 and 100 hours, and then we will have a Contractors Showdown day. I'm actually super, super, super stoked for Contractors Showdown. comes out later this month. I've actually taken like weeks off of work like like a 10 day stretch of of time off of work to play showdown i'm really like really really looking forward to showdown coming out um but yeah we will be adding to bore into the streaming cycle without a doubt um especially if you want to jump in and play together like i, I would really like to put together like a three stack and just run all over to bore on stream i think that'd be an absolute blast uh to do I actually don't play Tabor with anybody at the moment. Um, do I not have my launch bar down? Go figure. I have it, and I typically I typically post in my Discord when I'm gonna play. Um, and for whatever reason, even though a lot of people say they play Tabor, I don't have them jumping in on the Tabor side. Maybe it's uh, Gear Fear. Maybe it's they think I'm gonna get them killed, which is probably likely. Um, but so I'm always looking for people to play to bore with. And we will definitely at some point be live streaming to bore. I just need a reason to add more days, I guess. Outside of fun, like fun is a good enough reason. Uh, but right now I'm in a slight bit of a time crunch. So I only stream on Fridays. And I'm, I'm hoping to scale that soon to Mondays as well. Mondays and Fridays. And uh, it will either be Tabor or Into the Radius. The, the suggestion for Into the Radius seems intriguing to me. I would prefer to play Tabor, I think. Um, as I, I think I'm just going to be absolutely scared out of my mind the whole time I play Into the Radius. Also, why I'm kind of interested in it is I think it's going to be quite fun to be terrified that at least that terrified all right we are just trying to capture this city man and it just doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of support as we're doing so i'm doing what i can here but i'm, I'm kind of multitasking we'll fire these they just got more fighters in the air so that's not helpful right, we're gonna mad dog these just because like locking's taking too much time take these 
We'll fire these out. And that's a lot of missiles. Let's go ahead and duck behind the hill. We're getting shot at. Let's go, baby. Afterburner. Go, 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 go. We're going to switch to heaters. Yep, that missile's on me. We should be able to pull it around this hill and not have this be a problem. There we go. I got to stop, like, lifting my hand up. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. We're going too slow as well. Let's turn back around and try to get these guys. Where are you? Baby, come back. I want to shoot at you. I can't tell if that's an enemy or a friendly. Judging by my radar, I think it is a friendly. Let's go behind this hill. Where are you? I'm trying to lock this guy so I can see him. 9G pull, 10G pull. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Stream idea, you should go in a raid with nothing and try to get purple card. Oh, dude, you're gonna love my content. You're gonna love my content. I prefer to play Ghost of Tabor like that. I know a lot of people, they like to go in, car tech gear, all their shit, and they go in fully kitted and they try to just have these amazing high value raids. And look, that's fun, fine, good for them. I am the opposite. I like to go in with nothing. I love naked runs. I think there's uh, just an added layer of fun and like urgency to the game to go in with nothing. So almost all of my Tabor videos are that. I go in with nothing and I just try to acquire as much shit as I can. Um, and I don't always come out on top, right? Like you're, you're kind of asking to play on hard mode if um we're gonna let this guy go if you go in with nothing but it is the way that i typically play to bore I, I love going in borderline naked i don't even take a bag like some people say like oh it's a naked run but like they take a bag and a pistol like get out of here that's not a naked run i i got like a series um or not really a series, but a lot of my videos, I'll take nothing but a pistol. So it's not completely naked, but I'll go in with nothing but a Makarov. And then the goal is to see, like, what I can level up with and, and get on the, you know, to, like... Now, I went in with a Makarov and I came out with two AKs, an MP5, a backpack, and armor, right? Like, I find that to be way more satisfying than going in super geared up with all the best shit and dominating in the pvp side of it like i think there's a place for pvp and i enjoy pvp but i really like going in in a way that you're not supposed to right the game wants you to go in geared they want you to take all your best shit i don't like doing that i like going in like if i take a bag and armor I feel like I have too much gear, even if it's the shittiest gear in the game. If it's the worst gear in the game, and I have, a, if I have a slingy and a level one armor, and like a submachine gun, I'm like, oh man, like this is cheating, you know? Like I really like to go in. Now sometimes I'll go in if I if I'm running low on equipment, or if I'm just had a streak of bad luck, running low on money, which hasn't happened yet. But sometimes I'll be running low on equipment. I'll go in with a, with a rifle in a sling bag, right? And you do what you got to do to make sure you have an inventory to play with. But I also try to play with only what I pull out of a raid. I don't, like, explicitly state that. I'm not running around saying, like, are only going to use raid weapons today, because that's not the case. Um, but that's typically how I play. Is I, don't, I don't buy a lot from the traders. Uh, I'll buy ammo supplies like magazines and if we're really low on on a rifle i'll grab like where did that come from i'll grab like an m16 or something and we'll use that but i i try not to i try to go in with a makarov or less and say whatever i get out of this is what i get to use and then it, eventually i'll lose it like everybody right i'm always gonna lose my gear too but eventually I'll lose that gear and then I'll have to figure out something else to use. So that's that's how I play Tabor. I know a lot of people don't like it, right? They, they want to they wanna see the super high-kitted raids. Um, and I get it. Uh, I'm your new favorite streamer. Appreciate it. 
appreciate it for sure. But yeah, like I get it. I understand why people want to see like crazy green vault, you know, green key card runs in the old bunker. I understand it. Um, I just, it's not how I like to play it, you know, for whatever it's worth. I really want, would rather play it the hard and what I call hard mode, I guess. I, I just, I don't know. I like earning what's going on. And I feel like if you go in with nothing, and you come out with something, then every raid is a success. And if every raid's a success, then you feel good about it. But it's also like, I don't know, you just like earning your keep. Oh, I can't get behind this guy. Come on, where's my cannon? I have too many different weapons. He's gonna win this fight. Oh. Thank God somebody hit him, because I am out of energy, and I have somebody behind me, I think. Thank God I got an assist. All right, just Finley's behind me. That was huge. Good job, guys. What a play. All right, I know there's still threats here, so let's go ahead and try to find them. Oh, I guess we actually need to be liberating this spot over here. We've been liberating the wrong thing. Let's see. All right, on to the targets area. We've been blowing stuff up down here as they shoot at me, but it looks like the actual spot that we need to be blowing stuff up is over here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to fly over here. We're going to drop some bomby bombs. I don't know where the hell that's coming from. Stop shooting at me. Who's shooting? Oh, team killing. Great. Great. It's so annoying. I try to build a lobby where we can just fuck around, have a good time. And then team killing happens and somebody gets mad. Which I get it. I'd be mad too. It's fair to be mad. I just don't get the griefing aspect of games. Maybe it's an older version of me. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. All right, all right. I heard it. I don't see it. Now I see it. Oh, shit. All right, I don't have any anti-air, I don't think. Nope. No anti-air, but I do have... I do have... Radiation missiles, so... Air-to-ground missiles, that is. We'll go ahead and, uh... We'll sling some of these guys. We'll sling that one. And we'll switch to our other ones because we have a couple of those left. Oh shit, balls. They mad. They're mad. No shooty shooty. I do not consent to your explosive telephone poles. You keep them to yourself. No shooty shooty. These bunkers, yep. You can't hurt them with guns. Oh, I don't think I have bunker penetrating bombs either. I don't have any anti-air missiles, so we'll just try to get a gun kill on this guy. He's traveling way too fast and far, though. I don't think we're going to hit him. I don't think we're going to hit him at all. He's way too out of reach. Damn, speed up, bro. Speed up. Fly faster! If only that worked. If only you could just... Force it to fly faster. There's a missile everywhere. All of those missed. That would have been overly sweet. You missed, bro. Nice try. You fucking missed. Come on. My pilot needs to go to the gym. He's blacking out too easy. Blacking out too easy. I don't have anything to defend myself. Uh, from those aircraft and they are not in a spot to where I'm gonna be able to gun kill them Ugh. Missed oh shit. There's a building. I Might be able to get a gun kill on this guy. Maybe it depends on where he's flying. He's still flying cold though That's the problem is I'm not gonna be able to catch up with him. if He's flying cold You're flying cold Oh No, he's not now he's coming in hot Oh, oh, I hit him and I'm out. I'm out of everything. I'm out of everything. I don't know if I got him. Um, we can try to return to base. 
Eek. That's a flight and a half, though. Oh, no, it's not. Excellent. We can land right over here and rearm and refuel. Over. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Getting lucky. I thought for sure either that missile's going to catch us, which it might. I thought for sure we were about to be traveling all the way back to the damn carriers. But it doesn't look like it. Looks like we're going to get lucky. We got an airport right here that we can land at and get some new shit. Rearm, refuel, and get ready to go. We got to slow this baby down, though. I bet you the runway is super unrealistic to land on. But that's okay. We'll come in here. We'll get it slowed down. Grab the flaps. Drop the gear. Try not to rip the gear off because we are going super fast. Nope, that is the carrier. Excellent. Um, not the launch bar. We need the hook. All right, let's set her down. Nothing like a carrier landing to get it done. If you've not landed on the carrier, it's not terribly difficult. It's not the easiest thing in the world either. It's going to really depend on if the wind is kicking in right now. The last time I did this and I was trying to land on the carrier in this very mission, the wind was blowing so hard that you couldn't even begin to think about getting it done. So hopefully that's not the case today and we will be able to just slide ourselves right in and we're a little bit low. That's okay. It is a little windy. It is a lot bit windy, but I think, I think we might be able to pull this off. It's not going to be pretty, but we might get it done. We might get it done. I can't, yeah. You can tell it's windy because our HUD is off-centered like crazy. We're super off-centered. Um, we might catch a wire, though. We might catch a wire. Uh, nope, we are way too high. Over yeah. No! Okay. Now I know what to expect with the wind. We should be okay. Now I know what to expect with the wind. I wasn't sure how windy it was. Air base is captured. That's what's up. Have you heard of Big Scary? No, I have not. What is Big Scary? My guess is it's a game that's scary. <laughs> but I have not heard of it. Um, could be a YouTube channel as well. Big Scary could be a name for that. Big Scary is also that thing that happens when that one weird uncle's at your house. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We're making it up half the time. I have not heard of Big Scary. Tell me about Big Scary. I am not a big, uh, like, scary games person. So, I probably haven't heard of it if it is a scary game. I don't do horror games. I used to. I used to do them a lot when I was a kid. But I don't, I don't find them to be that enjoyable anymore. I feel like they lack a little bit of substance on stuff. Alright. Did we bounce over the damn wires again? We did. You gotta be kidding me. We bounced right over the wires. That was the landing. That was the damn attempt. And we missed it because we bounced right over the damn wires, bro. You gotta be kidding me. All right, third time's a charm, and then we're ejecting. If you struggle to land on the carrier, welcome. It's honestly not something I usually struggle with. I only struggle with it on stream. It's like the stream gods hate me. If I'm in any type of single player mission, like landing on the carrier's cake, I have no problem with it. Is my, my hook is down, okay. We should have been able to land that one. That one wasn't terrible. We're coming in super fast on this one. We're lined up wrong. That's the problem too, is we need to get over a little. All right. Last shot. The drift correction is, is messing me up. I can't really tell where my aircraft is. It's messing me up. I'm coming in too fast. I'm coming in too low right now. Um, but we do need to be falling out of the sky here. All right, we should be okay right here. Should be. No? How are we missing wires? I don't even know. We're out. My my bar was down. I don't know how I'm not catching those wires. That was perfect. 
A horror game with 16 levels. I have not played Gorilla Tag, but I have heard that it is one of the most amazing VR games. Like, out of all of them and how they play, that Gorilla Tag is, like, up there for, like, must-play VR game. I haven't played it, though. Big scary. Scary game with 16 levels. Only some levels are scary. Man, I'm telling you, VR's, VR's got a way. I think I would freak out. Like, I don't know. Like, in... If I watch scary movies, I'm like, oh, that's stupid. Like, scary movies don't get me. I'm like, why would you just not go in the house, right? Like, all you got to do is just don't go in the house and you're going to be fine in a scary movie. But in VR, in VR, oof, I feel like it's, it's all up in your face. You're a part of it, you know? You're a part of it. So the scary is, is there. It's like... Like, it's going to get you for real, you know? I got to be careful with the VR scary games. Like, I'm, I'm seriously worried to play um, Into the Radius. Like, I'm excited to play Into the Radius, but I'm, I'm scared of it. <laughs> like, I think it's going to be very terrifying. And uh, that's got me worried. If you must know, which you do. You do must know. <laughs> All right, um, where are we? Capture the airbase. I guess we can probably hit a waypoint somewhere. I don't know where everybody's going. Let's try to find where they're flying. We'll get over there. But yeah, man, it's not scary. And you're 11. <laughs> boo. Boo to what? The carrier landing? And how bad that was? Or boo to the scary games, man. Or, or not like in scary movies. Scary movies, man, they just, they're not scary. But but VR, kind of, I feel like it can be scary. I don't know. Is Big Scary on, on like, the Quest Store? I, I've never heard of this. I feel like I'm pretty in tune with, like, the Steam-related VR library. Like, I know what's going on on Steam, for the most part. I have not played Gorilla Tag, though. Gorilla Tag, rumor is... A lot of fun. Rumor is it a lot of fun. All right, we're getting actually close to the end of the stream, unfortunately, because I am having a good time. Um, but I am hungry. You guys gotta eat, you know. Uh, so I will throw it out there one last time. This is the last time I say it in the stream. Uh, we are shooting for 300 subs. We actually had an amazing push uh, since last week. I was like, man, like, let's get to 200, and we smashed 200 before I got a chance to, uh, to pop in and say thank you. So I just want to say that one more time. If you're a subscriber to the channel, thank you a ton. Um, feel free to reach out to me in the Discord and ask to play. Like, the answer is yes, as long as I have the, the free time to do it. Um, I am more than happy to play with the people that support the channel, support the content, and honestly just support having a VR community that likes to play together. Uh, so don't feel like you can't approach me. Uh, I'm doing my best to be as approachable as possible uh, throughout this whole YouTube process. But thank you again for the amazing 200 subscribers. How did I get hit? And do what you can if you care enough to share things around with your friends, your circles, whatever it might be. Um, making that push to 300 is a huge goal of mine. It's on the Quest Store. It's free. I see. I see. That guy was wigging out all kinds of crazy. All right, we're going to do one more life. One more life. My, my throat is starting to uh, to feel it, if you know what I'm saying. We're going to do one more life. I feel like I, I spend a, a good amount of time like talking without dead air, you know? My, my voice is wearing out. Three hours is a long time. And it's really hot. I don't know what's going on. I, I should have turned on the air conditioning. I should have turned it on. I'm sweating up a storm. It's really gross. I'm going to go give the missus a giant sweaty nasty hug and make her mad. It is super duper nasty right now. Okay. But yeah, so we're making that push to 300. Um, it's probably going to come sooner than I ever could have expected it to. Uh, just like 200 just kind of went crazy, man. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, but... 
something's going on that's right and people are liking the content so just again i appreciate it like really 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 it's humbling i think that's the only way i can put it is that it's just really humbling to to see that many people care about you know my creativity and some of the fun that i'm having so i thank you all um for for doing that for being a part of it and for uh you know keeping me motivated means a lot like really really you know, I might not sound like the most enthused at the moment, but my throat's starting to hurt. It's hot. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm all of the above. I'm all of the above. This was another awesome Friday Night Flight. Some of the usuals made it out. Um, we had a lot of new faces, too. I feel like the, the lobbies themselves on VTOL haven't been very good tonight, though. Usually we get a ton of randoms popping in and playing and having fun. Um, and I usually look forward to that. But today, both missions that we've ran have been slim pickings. It's okay, though. It all happens when it happens how it happens, right? Sometimes people got lives. If anybody knows that, it's me. And I respect the fact that y'all are busy with your own shit, which is why it means a ton that you came and you stuck around and hung out with me, you know? You could be watching any podcast, any TV show, any anything... And you were like, this dude, this middle-aged dude, that's who I want to pay my time to. I think a lot of people take that for granted. But not me, man. Betty, stop you bitching. Oh, that's a building. Oh, I was off to the side. Is it actually nighttime for you, or do you just call it Friday Night Flights because it's Friday and it sounds cool? Uh, Atlas, it is we both. Um, I started doing this, so the first day that I streamed this, it was a nighttime for me. And then what happened was a lot of people were like, oh, like I wish I could have played with you, but the time was bad. So I moved the time a little earlier in the afternoon. It's actually 5 p.m. for me, so it's not night night. Uh, the first time I did this, it was like 8 or 9 p.m. for me, so it was night. Um, so we're putting up 20 kills, lots of ground kills. Too many deaths, though. We're, we're fucking around too much to like play well and, and stay alive. So we did name it that uh, because it sounds cool. And also, it was happening at Friday night, the first episode. But I moved it to just try to be accommodating, right? Like, I can't sit here and say I want to be accessible to play VR with people and then stream at a time that's not accessible. So Friday is a, a day in my work that I can, like, be a little flexible with my work schedule. So I leave work early on Friday, essentially, to do an earlier stream for Friday Night Flights. Um, Boy Gaming, it was good having you here. Um, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. I'm actually going to end this mission. I will see you guys in just a second, though. I'm going to put you on B right back. I'll see you in just a second, and we'll wrap this thing up. So don't go anywhere. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Just give me a second. Give me a second. I told you it wasn't over yet. I told you we'd be back. All right. Two things. First thing, water. Water. All right. Second thing. Again, thank you. Genuinely thank you for everybody that comes out and watches the streams. Everybody that's a part of the Discord. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you need to know the schedule, here it is. Friday. Fridays. I don't know if it's right for you, but Fridays. 2 p.m. Pacific time to 5 p.m. Pacific time, we uh, we play Friday Night Flights. It's an open lobby. You're welcome to anybody. You do not have to subscribe to the channel. You do not have to subscribe to the Discord. The lobby name is what it is. I tell you when we start the stream. And you can just jump in and play. Uh, that's cool. The only reason I started streaming was because I called out at work. And I want you during my shift, maybe, to do play. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, unfortunately, if it's your work time, that super sucks. But here's the kicker. Um, one, I leave work early on Friday, Tuesday, but two, in the Discord, my mic is low. You're right. Thank you. Sorry, I switched mics. Appreciate it. Um, so what I was saying was thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you can catch this uh every Friday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, so if 
You want to jump in and play? You can. It's an open lobby. You don't have to subscribe to the channel. You don't have to be a part of the Discord. You can just jump in and take part in the fun. And then to you, Space, as I was saying, um, if these times suck for you because of work, I understand that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to trying to shift them as much as I can. I'm on the West Coast of the USA, so the time is like really inopportune for a lot of people. Um, but if you do want to jump in and you do want to play together, you can find me in the Discord and just say, hey, like I'm going to jump in and play VTOL right now. Uh, do you want to play together? And if I'm free, the answer is probably yes. I'll jump in and play. So um, and that goes for VTOL. It goes for uh, Tabor. It goes for really any VR game. Um, if you want to play together, you can ask me in the Discord. Like, really? And chances are I'll play. So with that being said, guys, thank you again for another amazing Friday Night Flights. If you stuck around through the recording, thank you for sticking it out through the whole video. And uh, you guys know what to do, right? If you liked it, thumbs up that shit. Like it. If you want to see more, subscribe, right? Subscribe to the channel. Come to the Discord. And as always, everybody, we'll see you guys in the next one.